said, we are live! Welcome! Let's play some music here, everybody, to Towers and Gods episode 33. We're back for the continuation of the Labyrinth arc. Welcome, welcome. We have our cast here today. We have Isaiah as Jong. Hello. We have Milios as the hero, Brack Bronson. Oh. <sighs> Big hero things, you know, big hero six in the building, you know, big Brack, you know, triple B's, big Brack Bronson. Just remember that. Yeah. I'll remember that. Okay. We have Sunwoo <laughs> as Woo. Man said he was always going to stay humble. I don't know what happened. <laughs> <laughs> he got one vote, bro. <laughs> he got that one vote. Changed everything. <laughs> it, was, it was good. Welcome. We have Hannah as Eden. Hello, everyone. If I sound wonky today, it's because I'm under the weather, but I'm here. You're here. That's what matters. Hopefully you feel better soon. And we have other Joe as Damien Frog. Hi, I'm Damien Frog. Did you know that you have rights? The Constitution says you do, and so do I. I believe that until proven guilty, every man, woman and child in this country is innocent. <laughs> and that's why I fight for you, chat. Better call Damien. Damien Frog. Attorney. My gosh. Oh, okay. oh my We God. need that. We need that. We we, we we need we need lawyer Damien in the It's coming at some point. point. It's coming yeah, at some yeah, point. Yeah. Oh my god. Lawyer Damien. Once after once his... once uh syndicate supplements catches a lawsuit, bro. I was about to say oh, after this goes under. It's actually true. <laughs> Give it like two months. <laughs> yeah. I think it's advisable to not represent yourself, but I don't know. Maybe I'll make an exception. <laughs> no, no, we won't get them in disguise. We need a legal department. Yeah, no. <laughs> but uh, yeah, we're here. Uh, you know, last episode we ended off starting this new test. Milios, Brack is entering the labyrinth. I saw you were you burning some rolls in roll 20 earlier. How confident are you feeling about this whole thing? You see the rolls. Oh, no. Don't tell me that, man. Oh no. Are your physical dice just, it's just not gonna, you don't think it'd be better? Man, I'm dead going things, man. I, I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> Lady Luck just ain't looking at me right now. She looking at yeah. everybody else but me. She yeah. might be looking at me, suck. I'm just saying. It's we'll alright though. It's alright though. <laughs> we have confidence, I'm sure. Team, team Recall has confidence. But yeah, no, we're here. Uh, we appreciate you all watching, joining the stream. Uh, for those of you who are new, D&D plus Tower of God, I made a summary video if you'd like to catch up on the first arc of Towers and Gods, so you can check that out here on the channel. Uh, and uh, yeah, you're more than welcome to stick around. Leave a like if you like the show. We'd appreciate the support. Am I forgetting anything? There's a link down below for the Discord if you want to hang out with other Towers and Gods fans. There was a lot of, uh, a lot of theory talk this week, which was very fun to see and a ton of memes that we'll show off during the break. But uh, yeah, anything else before we jump into it? Anyone, anyone? I'm good. Are we good? Okay. By the uh, power of the divine uh, water, everyone please send me your energy. We gonna need it. Oh yeah, thanks. <laughs> Brack, I'm gonna like spirit bomb this energy to you real quick. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> All Wait, right. where am I mailing this energy to? Uh, to I'll, 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 I'll CC you. Yeah, I'll CC you. Don't worry about yeah, it. Is this like an international, like, do I need a stamp for this or like? We are here. You all are outside of the labyrinth and uh, you just watched the heroes enter. So there's six teams. The six heroes are Hugo, Genbu, Misuk, Hedge, Taki, and Barak. You watch them enter the labyrinth, and there's no door or anything. They just walk into this sort of labyrinth, this cavern. And uh, Brack, do you want to do any last minute thing b before you enter the cave? Um, is the team still around above the table? Yeah, they're like uh, they're a distance from you, but yeah, they're still there. That distance. All right, but they can't hit me, can they? You, you, they could if you yelled. If I yell, all right, cool, 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 cool. So before Brack goes into the to the cave, he uh he says a very very light prayer, and then he pretty much reminisces, hoping that they can't see him, hoping mm. that they can't see him, 
and uh he starts to say to himself uh this time i'll actually succeed it only took it only took a few years but these people that i've met have grew from strangers to friends and now and i finally have the one thing that my father wanted me to have and he walks into the cave why you gotta go and put death flags on yourself like that bro? <laughs> <laughs> I, did, I didn't do a single thing i didn't if we get his backstory, I'm rioting, bro. That's a that's a sign, bro. Nah, if there's a flashback in there, I'm, 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 I'm walking off. Yeah. I'm walking off. <laughs> no. I look over to Horace and I'm like, what, why was he like crouched down like that? Was he like, was he hurt? Is his knee hurt or something? Was what happened to him, Horace Felger? Is he okay? <laughs> Horace Felger just is staring into the cave, and you can tell is concerned. Why did he go oh. down on one knee for one moment? He might have been constipated. I don't know. We should have checked on it before we sent him in there. Yeah, well, at this point, the six heroes are out of sight. At this point, the two administrators, not the administrators, but the two Jihad soldiers, they turn their backs to the cave, the mouth cave, cave of the mouth, towards the rest of you. And uh, I guess this would be a good time to move you to a new location here on Roll20. Ooh. Uh, just for some visual reference. There okay. we go. Um, hey, 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 hey. That's what I like to see. <laughs> yeah. Oh, man, it wasn't late. He logged it's in here at 7. He was like, quick, wait, let me get a map together real quick. Are you happy, son? We're 16 bit. Uh, no. I told you, I told you. We're 16 bit. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't make fights for all of you. Slow, 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 slow. Yeah. We'll get there. We'll get there. But slowly but surely, we, we yeah. evolve. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, you all are standing there. The two admit the, the soldiers are in front of the cave. And they're silent for a moment. And you notice that there's some tension in the area. The teams are kind of whispering with each other. And you can tell, especially for, for example, Taki's team, they seem to be pretty concerned now that their leader has uh, entered the cave. But after this moment of silence, the, uh, the one of the soldiers walks forward and starts to speak. Today is day one. This test will last for seven days. Today will be pretty simple. You will not do anything that involves any of the heroes in the cave. You have your own jobs to do. And he looks to the right, he looks to the left, there are six campsites here in the ring. Your job is to claim one of these campsites, and this will act as your home base for the duration of the test. You are not allowed to trade headquarters campsites at any point during the test. However, until midnight tonight, you are allowed to steal each other's campsites. And the arms inventory of this ranker suddenly appears, and he pulls out what looks to be a bag of coins. He pulls out a table, sets it down, and he pour, puts six dark coins lined up on this table. I don't know where you got this from. Each of you one representative of your team, please come forward and claim a coin. And he waits as if he's waiting on you. Eden kind of looks around the team like, are they seriously going to make me do this? <laughs> well, I'll do uh, it. Can we examine the coins, please? Sure. Oh. Do I do I have to roll for this? That well, is... are you are you gonna be the one to walk? I just want to see what. Yeah, I'll go for it. I just want to see what's on them. Yeah, sure, if sure. They're sure. all the same. Or no. Investigation for me to see if there's any fine details. Ah, uh, that's a D10. Don't want all that. Oh, that's oh, a 10 total. Oh, no, oh, I was sorry. I picked up the D10. <laughs> <Got you. laughs> that would have been bad. <laughs> yeah, yeah, no, we're not doing that. It is a 14 total. 14 total. Um. At first inspection, it's just like a, a regular coin. It's got like gold around the edges and it's kind of dark everywhere else in the middle, but you can tell that this coin, it, 
there's, it, it's gonna serve another use. It's not just a coin. But they're all the same. There's no like distinction. Yeah, they're all the same. As far as you can tell. And uh, the other members of the teams walk forward. The one from, uh, you see Henry, Sir Henry, walk forward and you see his eyes are all red. He's sniffing. And he grabs one of the coins and the other teams all come forward. Now, interestingly enough, it's only five other teams uh, that are walking forward. You remember that Genbu was the only one on his team. Does that mean there's an extra base? All the coins <sighs> are the same, so we should just take one. Yeah, yeah, I'll take, yeah, I'll take one. Yeah, I take one. This is your task. These are sh these are shadow coins, and there is a shadow phone in each of the bases, each of the campsites. When you put your coin into the phone, that means that you have claimed that campsite. However, if you insert your coin into another's phone, a campsite that's already been claimed, you then claim that campsite for your own. The phone will spit out the coin of the other team, and they are no longer allowed to reclaim that campsite. Are we clear? Uh, sir, what about the other coin and the last remaining campsite? As I said, one coin per team. So you're just going to hang on to that one? He slowly reaches out and grabs it, puts it in his pocket. I should have slide a hand in that. <laughs> <laughs> you may make so your way we... back to your teams. Yes. So are we only allowed to eliminate one other team then, if we only get one coin? You will not be eliminating that team. That team will then have to claim another campsite. As you will soon see, not all of the campsites are exactly the same. Are we clear? Good. These shadow phones in each of your campsites will serve another purpose in the test. But we will talk more about that on day two. Day two is when the real event begins. Of course, your heroes' lives are in peril. But something else that you should know. And he makes a little motion, and suddenly, above the mouth of the cave, an object starts to grow, and you see a huge monitor kind of rise up and expand. There will be three points during the test where you will be able to see the heroes in the cave. Three points only. They'll be showcased on the monitor, and you may watch and see how your beloved heroes act. More details will arrive tomorrow. Your task for today is to establish your headquarters, establish your campsite, and after midnight, no more stealing is allowed. You have also been given, any motions to the right and left, a collection of wood to use however you see fit. And you may take however much you would like. Not yet, he holds up a finger. Not yet. Any questions? Good. You have five minutes to discuss amongst yourselves before we begin. And he walks back to the mouth of the cave. Okay. Um, teams. So we, we have no idea. So th there is like shadow phones all over the area. And can we tell like... Hold on. Wait, hello? You can't... Yeah, yeah. Wait, okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Sorry, it was dead silence. I wasn't sure. <laughs> yeah, you're... Um, <laughs> so, so the shadow... So you don't see any in the vicinity, but you do see to your, to your right and left, there's a path that continues on, like, through the mountains. Oh, okay. And that's all you see. Fascinating. We have uh, no what idea time is it, by the way? It's about 11.20. And you said we have till midnight? Yeah, till midnight. So like about 12 hours. I think that's mm -hmm. enough time to see every campsite. I guess we should also decide if we're just going to claim a site and play defense or try to steal somebody else's site. I think we should claim 
a site just so we have something and then recon the other sites and see if it's worth stealing. I agree. Seeing which site is the most valuable and right. then choosing that site. And if we can get it, we can get it. And if yeah. we can't get it, we can take it. Right. But I do think we... we... <laughs> What's that, Victor? I did notice uh, they specifically said to claim a campsite, you have to insert the coin. Meaning, I believe we've claimed it for good. So I'm all fine with claiming, he puts it in quotes, a campsite, but I don't think we can use the coin until we're sure that's the one we want. Wait, is that for sure what he said? What? Yeah. That was my understanding. Yeah, that's what he said. We should probably do yeah. recon first. Right, check out all the campsites, because if we can steal campsites, that means some of these sites have to inherently have more value than others. So we should probably do recon, see which one is the most advantageous, and then go from there. I agree. How about how about a uh, three three split recon team and somebody finds a base and holds down the fort? I'll right. go recon, says Leaf. I guess you're with me, cause that's all I'd be good for. That's not well wait, there's for Wu. There's two paths, correct? Yeah, so we need to split the so, team. So yeah, so you're saying three three split and we'd each go each team would go a different path. Okay. I think, uh, yeah, I think you guys take Damien so that I could communicate with him. I think that's where the best. I think that's a wise idea. I have a suggestion. How about team defeated Roar, me, Wu, and Leaf? And then everybody else can go hold down a base. Sure. Works for me. All right. So we're going east or west? We'll go uh, west. Let's go. Yeah, let's go west. Yeah. Guess we're going east, Wu. That's good. And uh, as you're wrapping this up, you notice uh, someone from uh, Taki's team walk over to you. Someone with uh, sort of, oh, what's the word? Like sandy hair, sandy colored hair, um, dirty blonde. And uh, you recognize him, Wu, as Butterscotch. Name. I was holding it. I was holding it until until Isaiah started laughing. Um, butterscotch. Nothing's wrong with butterscotch. It's a cute I name, man. I'm not hating. No, nothing's wrong with the food. Butterscotch. Such a sweet boy. <laughs> let's call him. Let's call him Butters. Oh, oh no, 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 we're not. Nope. Yes, yes. Uh, <laughs> I, I, if it suits him, I'll call him that. He has to speak. <laughs> Hello there, team. He salutes. I'm Butterscotch from Team Loud and Proud. I turn to Butter. I turn to Damien. Yeah, Butters will do just fine. Uh, the name the name is Butterscotch, but you can call me Scotch if you'd like. What do you want? Scotch a little too manly for you. How about Butters? That sounds uh, right up your alley. Let's butters not insult really cool. people. He's today. a really tall, thin, like really thin guy. All right. I know that you and Taki, looks at you, Wu, have a kind of history, but we also know that at the end of the day, cooperation will get us far in this test. So me and my team, team loud and proud, we wanted to offer, he holds out his hand, an alliance. Okay, but before I shake on said alliance, can't you tell us the terms of the alliance? Or, or, you know. Sure, we help each other throughout this test. We protect each other, fight with each other, and we dominate everybody else. And you Why? are... Doesn't seem that unreasonable. Thank you. My team thought the same. Why team up with your team over any other team? Uh, because we're team loud and proud. I mean, it's in the name. <laughs> okay, so you have nothing, is what you're telling me. Hey, whoa, whoa, whoa. Our leader is Lopobia Taki of the Ten Great Families. The fastest regular in the tower. Yeah, and you just sent him to the cave, which means without him, your team has nothing. Let's not uh, antagonize everyone today, gentlemen. And time's just making a point. Well, to be fair, and you do have a point, my boy, but we're not going to say that. But I, I did have an agreement with your leader, all right? Yeah. I'll keep an eye out for you guys. You keep your end of the bargain. We keep ours. All I'm saying... I'll make it fair for you. If at any point the alliance isn't beneficial to either of us, we will agree to part ways. 
and we will make it known verbally. And that's that. Deal. Hold out his hand. All right, I'll shake. Okay. Sounds like a plan. If you ever need anything, you can let us know. Should I introduce you to uh, everybody else? Why not? Should, uh, come on, guys. Come over here. And uh, time's kind of ticking down still, but you take this opportunity to meet the team. Uh, you recognize Dan, who is there from uh, Reggie's, the previous leader. <laughs> uh, he doesn't appear to be super happy. He's kind of just got this permanent frown. He's a big guy with shaggy hair. Uh, there's a guy named Min who has really long ears, like really big ears, and uh, he's kind of short. He gives you a wave. There's Beryl, who's a very rotund guy who uh, has a big smile on his face. Uh, there's a guy named Folk who carries a sword, but he looks kind of ordinary. And then there's a guy named Walter who looks pretty young, and he seems to be right next to Folk, as if uh, they're good friends. This is Team Loud and Proud. What well, are your sorry. positions? Dan says he's a fisherman. Butterscotch says he's a scout. Min says he's a light bearer. Uh, Beryl says he's a fisherman. And then Folk and Walter both also say that they're fishermen. Okay, a little fisherman heavy, but alrighty, here we go. <laughs> uh, and Tati's <laughs> also a fisherman, our leader. That's such wow. beautiful balance. It's how did you make it this far without other positions? We're team. Yeah, Loud Inventor says, probably. okay, we get it. We get it. Yeah. 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 Yep. Yep. Okay. okay. We need nice to. to meet you all. Um, Min, uh, the lighthouse <laughs> user. Um, yeah. Let's exchange information. And, you know, if you need anything, you can call me. And if I need anything, I can call you. Sounds like Actually, a plan. You listen to good uh, music, sir? Oh, my God. Uh, yeah. yeah. Yeah, all the time. <laughs> I love, we'll get I along love music. just fine. We'll, we'll get along. I, He's for real. I'll send you uh, some sweet beats that I came up with earlier. Says me. I, have, I could regret you just give having me one a example number. of an artist that you're into, by the way, man? Just so I know your tastes. Wait, sorry. Repeat that? <laughs> just your favorite artist, if you will. Just humor me. We'll come back to it. <laughs> yeah, I'll time. let you know soon. I'll let you know. No, no, you have one. In a Brooke, Brooke, <laughs> Brooke. No, he's not a fan of Brooke. He's not uh... fan. But thank you. That was a really good idea. But no, I have a suggestion. Eden, you let me know what you think about this. If we are going to work together, how about we split our teams and cover more ground? We're lacking another scout could help our other party. I don't a better camp think we have to necessarily do that. John, you don't have to talk to them if you don't want to. I already wasn't going to talk to them. I don't want to work with them. But don't you think it'd be useful to because have Because they suck. Help, but you've never seen what they can do. Well, just from this conversation alone and the team makeup, I've got a feeling they're not going to be much help. Well... You're judging them by their cover. Fine, fine. You're right, maybe they're the best regulars in the tower. What do I know? Uh, Damien, Min sends you an artist named King, and uh, it looks like some dude with a microphone wearing like a really bad Jihad cosplay. Oh, no! It got visual ah! that, Nice, <laughs> no visual very good. I'll, I'll listen to this as, as soon as I have time. Great, I think you'll like him. And then, uh, you know, uh, Butterscotch, says well, they'll talk more later and they uh, kind of separate from the group. All right, uh, original plan. Let's go but check yeah, out. Yeah. yeah, sure. I Five will seconds. say though, it will be advantageous if they are in our alliance to keep them close to us or keep them on the other side where they can keep the eye, keep an eye on the other teams. Just a thought. Yeah, I can yeah. communicate with them Sounds about that. Good. Five, let's let them Let's let them prove their worth today. Four, three, to, excuse me. And suddenly you see someone walk in. It appears to be an older gentleman uh, who's wearing like a long robe and they're coming from like the test admin area. And he's kind of walking up with a couple of uh, what appear to be servants at his side. And the mm. official looks a little confused. One moment, regulars. And he walks over. He wants to kind of start whispering to this guy. But then the guy says, which of you did it? He looks around mm. at all of you. Which of you desecrated the royal, the sacred grounds in Roku Village? Whoa, what did you do? I had no idea what he's talking about, I swear. 
Eden's the clocking brownies. all of the teams to see if anyone reacts. They all look very confused. They're all looking okay. back as this guy. <laughs> all right. West of Hero Hill is the sacred ground where Jihad and Arie Hone had their final duel. And yet now, it's in shambles. Oh, never mind. No, uh, please, <laughs> sir. The, the, uh, the soldier oh, no. appears to be trying to talk to him and calm him down. It's, oh, it's, my God. it's all right, sir. Um, I, we haven't had an earthquake in Roku Village in four centuries. God damn it. <laughs> I supposed to know that they didn't have an earthquake. It was an earthquake? Why would you cause an earthquake? Eden just like what? shoots a look at everyone of just like, just just don't they say anything, no, don't no react. No <laughs> Victor, Victor starts whistling very uh, cons inconspicuously. Eden quietly like kicks the back of Victor's leg like, stop it. He just, he just <laughs> chuckles when you do that. I swear I we'll find out who did this. We have methods. We have ways of knowing. I wonder why my team is acting so suspicious. That's weird. <laughs> uh, yes, Mayor, it's, it's all right. Be on your way. And he turns and leaves. Apologies for that regulars. The Mayor of Roku Village is quite an important person. All right, go find your campsites. And he gives you a little wave. But we're going right. to cut to uh, Barak. Dun, dun, dun. To inside the cave. Oh boy. Okay, I'm gonna move us to a new spot on roll twenty. Okay. Okay, so Brack, you uh you walk a little ways. And before long, the, the light that is coming from the entrance of the labyrinth starts to dwindle and dwindle, and you end up walking into an open room that has a couple of torches that light up the otherwise really dark area. Um, don't The visuals aren't perfect, so I want you to instead imagine the walls. They're much more like just rock and mud kind of packed together. You see some shiny minerals, very, very small, scattered throughout. But aside from that, it's a very tall, open cave and it feels a little cold huh so they lost their luggage inside this place huh need to handle it better all right Ugh. which way do i need to go in order for us to get this package uh, can i say something hedge speaks up uh, who might you be, fellow, fellow gray hair? Well, that's exactly why I'm speaking up. I think if we're going to be working together, we should probably introduce ourselves, no? You are absolutely right. Um, introduce yourself. All right, I guess I'll go first. My name is Hedge. I'm a spear bear. And uh, that's it. Hedge to spear bear. Got you. <clears throat> what is your name over there, quiet one? Hugo just kind of looks around with a very blank look on his face. His pocket pops up and the name Hugo shows up. Mm, I see. You don't have a tongue. Can't tell, can you? Hey, what's wrong, man? Speak up. He just sighs. It's okay. I wouldn't talk to the rabbit either. All right, rabbit, I seem to know you. How are you doing? You know, if we're gonna be getting along in here, we should probably be on better terms, right? You know, we probably I shouldn't never, be causing trouble, right? I, I never thought that we were on bad terms. You know, I just beat you in a race twice. I mean, okay. I have no animosity have to... towards you. My name is Lopobiataki, everybody. And he starts hopping up and down. I'm the fastest regular in the tower. The leader of Team Loud and Proud. Fastest regular? <clears throat> Twice? <laughs> the... The se second... Fastest <laughs> regular. Little more like it. Little more like it. Little exactly, more. exactly. Oh my god. I'm glad to see you all are already good friends. My name is Misuk. A pleasure to meet you. I'm a wave controller. 
Uh, thy waves thus flow. Uh, hold up, rabbit. What what position were you again? Fisherman. <sighs> Fisherman, huh? Yeah. You remind me of someone. But, madam, you yeah. you were speaking. <clears throat> No, I simply wish that we all may continue through this labyrinth unimpeded, unintruded, without woe and without worry. In God's name. Ah, uh, fellow worshiper, eh? Who is the God that you claim? The one true God of the tower. The one who created everything. Ah, okay, okay. You're so an extremist. I like it. I'm more so <clears throat> of the nature's kind. The one who appreciates the divine water that surrounds us. But we could talk about that a little bit more later. And, uh, am I missing anyone? Speak now or forever hold your peace. Slowly, anyone? Genbu walks forward. Very slowly with his leaning on his cane. Genbu is my name. A pleasure to meet all of you. Old man from the bathhouse? A pleasure to see you again. Ah! <laughs> ah! You're here! Hold up, what are you? Uh, I am a defender. And so I will do my best to save all of you during this test. <clears throat> I just, I just want to say thank you, and I appreciate you. Young man, please do your best to keep me safe. I understand that you have to protect everyone, but, you know, I won the prize because I am the prize. Get that? Keep that? Yeah, got it? Yeah, good. I, now, I will be I, protecting everyone equally. Okay. Right. Do you have a problem with that, sir? <laughs> no problem. It's just, I mean, the rabbit isn't going to be on the front lines. The wave control, I'm going to ensure that she's safe. Uh, Silencio over there, he's, um, he's a strong one. I don't think he would need help. Right? Right? He My big guy? His really big hammer, puts it on his shoulder, and nods. See? Me and him are simpatico. We're on the same page. But the rabbit, you don't have to worry about him. He, hes We're not letting him fight. Now, hold on. I am going to be on the front lines. My legs are quite tough. I'll show you later. Old yeah, man, I'll, just one time, kind of... don't defend him. I just want to see what will happen. No, just I, one time. Just, I want to prove my worth. Just... Okay, hey, 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 Brack, can we talk in private over here in the corner of the room? Like, sure, sure. Okay, okay. He leads you to a corner. Listen, I know, um, <clears throat> can I be honest with you? I'm listening. I, I don't hate you, but I, 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 I'm willing to work together. You know, I came to an agreement with, with your team. I'm totally down for that. But I want you to treat me and, and respect me like an equal. Is that so much to ask? I treat you as an equal and respect you. That's why I don't want you to get hurt. Simply why I asked you to stay back and let the big body handle it. You have two big body individuals over here. One that's wielding a giant hammer and one that's wielding a magical teleporting sp uh, harpoon. I can get in and out of situations. You can run. I move instantaneously. You still have to travel through. If you get, if you lose a leg, it's over. Do you want to lose your legs? Well, they no. look very valuable. Of course, I want to lose my legs. They're everything I have. I mean, they're they're like you know really important to me and stuff. But I'm I'm okay, okay. I just want to tell you that I will prove my worth. That's all. And I hope we can get along despite our uh, previous situations and scuffles and stuff. Rock can, puts can one of his hands on his shoulder. He said, "Looks little, look little rabbit. I have no hard feelings toward you, but you do look a little fragile." And Wu, Wu would be upset with me if something were to happen to his dear little brother. That's Cap. I, I can't. <laughs> <make it. laughs> he 
He he would? Really? He cares about you deeply. It was I who wanted to take away your pension when you were a part of our our glorious organization. Wait, that's not true. Wu himself told me over over text that he was he was the one that was I stole his pocket and I was the one who typed it. What? Can you roll yes. deception for me? <laughs> <laughs> What's my one good time? This is uh, the best decision we've ever made. This sitting is back in this cave. <laughs> deception, 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 decept. Decepticon? Decepticons. Um, yep. Hold on, where's my page? Why it'll, be, my page? it'll be charisma. Oh, charisma? Oh, shoot, then I already know. I, I don't know, for some reason, I can't, like, go into, like, my oh. my stats page for some strange reason. Uh, but uh, I'm going to assume it's zero, so nine. <laughs> nine? Yeah. Uh, okay. He he raises his eyebrow at you. Uh-huh. Just let me have this one little rabbit. Like, it's Okay. You'll be safe. You'll get your licks in. Don't worry. I'll ensure it. Then I can give you some carrots or lettuce or whatever it is that you eat at the end of this. Oh, How about no. it? I just, I eat food, man. Like a regular person. I just eat food, you know? Carrots are food? Why are you saying carrots aren't food? Like yeah, carrots like, are that's, good that's food. A really, that's a, like a stereotype, but I just kind of wanted to, you know, clear that up. Like I just eat food, man. I eat food. Okay. Then I'll get you some, 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 some nice deep fried rabbit. How does that sound? You know, let's oh. go back to the. Let's just go back to the group. I think oh I think we'll get along just fine. I think we're good now. I think we're good. <clears throat> All right. Love you, little guy. And then Brock walks back over to the group. Taki is the deep of towers and gods. But I Taki does not deserve this. He's a good funny boy. Oh, feels, I actually feel bad. I do too. You make your way back to the group, and they're all kind of having their own little conversations. And then uh, Genbu says, well, shall we be off then? Yes, we shall. Excellent. Uh, Big H, you and I will lead the way. We'll stand in the front. We'll let the wave controller stay close to the defender so that, you know, if something were to go off, he can protect her. Rabbit. Metal. Hedge. Do whatever you want. Let's go, guys. All right. They all, uh, they follow your lead. They take formation. And, uh, you start walking. And it's not all gonna be on roll 20, but some, some of the details will be, just so you know. So, you're walking along, and overall, the cave is pretty similar, uh, to the beginning, where it's like, it, it, the only difference is that you feel yourself kind of going lower. And the lower you go, the darker it is getting, and it's getting colder as well. Is there anyone here that has an ability to be able to light up this dark passage? If not, pocket visible mode. Pocket. Light. You get a little flashlight off of it. And they all gotta, do the same thing. Pocket. And they all summon their pockets. I gotta make sure I thank Leader for that. Like, if she would have never told me that, I swear by all goodness that I would have been stuck. And then they oh. would have been looking at me funny. <laughs> this must be what she feels every goddamn day when she tries to lead us. All right. Uh, <laughs> let's go. Uh, if we do not have enough light, please just let me know. And Misuk smiles. What a delightful smile. And we just continue to walk. <laughs> all right. You continue walking. I'll go ahead and highlight, uh, show us some more area here. And eventually the cave takes a little bit of a turn. I'll give you control of your uh, circle here. I don't think I, I don't think it has it right now. <clears throat> and, uh, wait, hold on, sorry. Uh, where's the settings? There it is. Controlled by... Brad Bronson? Oh, there you go. Uh, yep, so you, you and Hugo take the lead. You're moving along. Taki and Hedge are in the middle. Genbu and Misuk are in the back. And uh, eventually you hear Hedge say, So, how difficult do you think this test is going to be? Well, I heard from my uh, 
for my team that apparently there's some sort of soul sucking monster that's in this labyrinth. Uh, Taki pipes up. Yeah, 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 yeah. Just a rumor that I heard. It's <laughs> just no way to confirm if it's true. But uh, and then Misuk says the partitioner. That's exactly what they called it. I have seen him in my dreams. He will be a very dangerous foe. We must be careful. How, on, 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 on a scale of one to ten, how, how dangerous? God did not give me a number to put on a scale. But uh, of, co of course. I would simply say, he is dangerous. is dangerous mm. and you've only met this thing in your dreams correct indeed uh, how many times have you taken this test or any of you here how many times have you taken this test uh, first time they all say first time except for genbu oh many times now mm. too many to count mm. Young man, how, since you're here, I take it that the test didn't always go right. What made it go left? <sighs> Many things. The test is not always the same. We're not always delivering cargo. Sometimes we have to slay a beast or rescue a fair maiden. But the tests always have the same thing in common. And what's that? Death. How did you survive? My position is a fortunate one. It is very hard to kill a defender. However, I have seen many of my fellow regulars die in this test. And I don't think this will be an exception. <clears throat> Brock walks up to Gimbu, uh, kind of breaking formation a little bit. Uh, between you and me. Yes. If that thing starts attacking, whatever you got, just throw it up. I, I don't I don't care. If, if it hurts me a little bit, I'll be fine. I'll be fine. It ain't nothing but a flesh wound, but save my bacon. You powers I, I i got that i got that i got that but save my bacon and then he walks back to the front of the line <laughs> okay and you all just keep walking uh roll perception for me see i knew the rolls was gonna come <clears throat> <laughs> here we go this is this is a big one come on Brad. determining the start of this manifest good energy oh perception 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 is perception. different Yes, 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 indeed. Yep. Feed the needy. Um, perception uh, 13. 13. Okay, you come to this crossroads, this little fork in the road, fork in the labyrinth, and it uh, looks like you can go right or left. Hmm. So. Yes, this is why they're called a labyrinth, says Hedge. Guess we're gonna see yeah. a lot of these. If we um, was oh. immediately because I have godlike rolls, uh, Hugo walks forward to this path. And he holds a finger to his mouth. Silence. Don't go there. Hush. Looks like he looks like he's listening and telling you to shut up. Don't tell me to you. shut up all of you he keeps like and then he starts shaking his head and he starts going to the left path big h i take it you heard uh some creatures that way he nods all right everyone move with big h uh, hold on how do we know that there's not like something good over like some treasure shouldn't we like scout it out well, you know, if we had a scout on a team, we could just send an observer without it risking risking our own mortally. What? Shut up, Taki. 
And then he goes. <laughs> <laughs> All right, you keep uh, you keep walking then. <laughs> You're walking along this path, and uh, you don't see anything particularly uh, dangerous as you move along. But eventually, you do find a uh, a chest on your left, just kind of out there, right in a, in a crease in the wall. Ooh, Taki kind of excitedly hops. See, see, rabbit. If we were, if we would have went right, we would have been dead. See, trust Big H. Big, Big H knows. Hey, Big H. What's your lineage? You don't talk much, do you? You kind of got, kind of got like that stoic vibe, looking a little Peter Pan like. What is? What's your function? He like opens his mouth for a second and then closes it. Uh, still not gonna talk. Uh, excuse me, Taki says, and he starts going for the chest. But when he walks up to it, boom! Oh wait, never mind. He does walk up to it. I'm stupid. But when he walks up to it, there's a barrier that appears behind him. Whoa! Ah, <sighs> this goddamn rabbit. See, Rabbit, you fell for the trick. No, 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 it's fine. And he puts his hand through. Yeah, I think I can just walk out. Walk out then. Okay. And he walks oh, out and the barrier disappears. Hmm. Roll history, Breck. Damn, I don't think he got history. He <laughs> <laughs> all these, ro it, all it, these it, rolls. It's, it's, oh, uh, dang. Actually, he has a little bit of history. Okay. okay. <laughs> and it don't even matter. <laughs> 19. Nice. Okay. So, when you see this barrier, it looks identical to the barrier that would appear during the Room of Riddles on the second floor when it determined how many people could go through. Mm. What, what, what? What's up? Um... <laughs> Nothing. Why don't you go ahead and take that treasure? Ah, oh, thanks! He goes, and he opens it up. Da -da 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 -da. Okay. And then uh, he pulls out what appears to be this, like, glob of clay. Check it out! Huh. You know, not as cool as I thought it would be. And then so it starts floating out of his hands, and it starts to swirl around him. So it swirls around him. Ah, uh, rabbit. I always, I always knew I could use Shinsu. Rabbit. This is incredible. Rabbit. Yeah. Get out of there. Okay. He leaves the barrier. Whew. Okay. Ah. Uh, it does not stop swirling around him. Young man. <laughs> no one responds. They're all just looking at you. <laughs> There's only one young man in this group. Uh, yeah, Hedge speaks up. What's up? Not you, not you, <laughs> not you, not you. Goatee, it's you, young man from the spring. Please listen to me. Young man. What? Have you seen this before? I believe I know what it may entail. Although I'm not entirely sure. My memory is not what it used to be, but I believe that our rabbit friend has earned himself a boon in this test. Boom. He's been cursed. Heck yeah! Let's go! If he earns more of these fragments, well, I believe it would be beneficial for him to do so. All right. Well, looks like we're about to have a super bunny. All right, guys. Don't worry. I'll carry the team, no problem. And uh, <laughs> he kind of walks closer to the wall, and the clay, no matter what he does, the fragment always, like, avoids any obstacles and just keeps swirling around him, and he's just ecstatic. He thinks it's so cool. All right. Brock walks away from uh, uh, Taki, and he says to Big H, maybe I should have let you get the chest. And... <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> and then he, he uh he says to Taki, get back into formation and we continue forward. Okay. I keep trying to move it on Discord, not realizing oh, it's on this fine. mic. <laughs> <You're good. laughs> I've done that, yeah. <laughs> you're good. Uh, when you do say that, he just kind of sh- uh, frowns. I mean, uh, sorry, he shrugs when you say that. Um, but right before you're about to leave, you also see, okay, this isn't look exactly like it, but you see this dark colored phone, like embedded into the wall, and there's a little slot as if you could insert money into it. Brock goes over. God, I think I did it again. Brock <laughs> goes over to the phone to look at it. Uh, can I roll? Um, uh, what would it be? Investigation. Yeah, go for it. Come on, come on! I don't ask for nothing. Just get it to me. God damn it! Why does it keep doing that to me? I think investigation. My investigation is like two. I think plus two. Music also walks uh, forward. Plus one, ten. Um, ten. it's a phone. That's about just, all you notice. Just a phone. It's a phone. You, you you can't pull it out of the wall. Priestess, have you have you seen something like this before? Not exactly like this, but I have a feeling that perhaps this is a way to communicate with our teams. Hmm. And it looks like we need some sort of currency in order for us to talk out. Exactly. Anybody find a coin? They're all shaking their heads. Okay. All right. Well, we at least know where to come back to. We at least know where to come back to. Let's go ahead and proceed forward. And then, if need be, we'll make our way back. Not unless Sir Rabbit, oh humblest, the Almighty, wants to try to use his boon on the phone. Oh, I can try. By the way, you don't have to call me all that. I appreciate it, though. But when he try, he tries to grab the fragment, and it keeps like jumping out of his hands. Uh, come on, come on now. Hop, Rabbit, hop. Uh, I'm Hop. trying, I'm trying, it's not, it's, it's, I'm trying, it's not letting me. I can't touch it no matter what I do. Nah, it's okay. That was mild entertainment. Thank you. All right, let's go ahead and continue forward. Big H, on me. <laughs> okay, and you uh, you keep walking through the cave. We're going to cut back to the group on the outside. You know what, Joe, you don't even have to. You can go right back into the cave if you want. <laughs> <laughs> this is a show now. I, we all are just here to watch. <laughs> <laughs> I'm fine with that too. <laughs> uh, you are all. The ranker gives you another countdown: five, four, three, two, one, and uh, all the teams immediately start going for the wood. Oh, yeah, that makes sense. Damien, how much of that can you fit in your lighthouse? Uh, probably lots. Do it. <laughs> right, on, right on. I'm on my way. <laughs> All right, you go towards the wood. It's kind of hard though. There's a lot. It's really crowded. It's wood. Of course, it's hard. I'm putting him in my lighthouse. <sighs> you can't get through the regulars. It's super crowded. What do you do? Excuse me. Sorry. Uh, syndicate business. Pardon me. I hey, hollered. Wait, wait, wait your turn, buddy. I- Okay, you know what? I'm jumping. Up. I'm jumping to the top Sorry, of the pile. No. Yeah, that's what I was, I was gonna tell him. Like, get on your lighthouse and get above them and start pulling wood from the top. Okay, you jump above. You kind of land on top of the pile and you start putting as much as you can. What do the rest of you do? Uh, I'm gonna signal to my group that we should go first. If they're all concentrating on the wood, then we should get first dibs on the the spots to the west. <laughs> okay, so you're gonna start heading to the west. Yep. Yeah, I'll catch up with you guys. Don't worry. And I, I call Wu and I tell him, go ahead and send your your observer out to the east. Stay with Damien until he's got enough wood, and then start heading out. Um, okay, perfect. So you and Jong are gonna head out then, right? To the west. Yeah, me and Jong. Mm-hmm. Uh, okay. You're the first ones to enter this clearing. I'll zoom in a little bit more. 
has it been affected by the earthquake that we may or may not have caused? Doesn't look to be. Looks to okay. be. Uh, looks to be okay. There's no, There's no earthquake. It's good. We don't mind. <laughs> We're too far from the from the natural disaster that occurred. Absolutely. Exactly. Yeah. Uh, for now, okay, I'll put these down for now. Just to be, whoa, those are huge. Oh, are big. <clears throat> Woo! Look at how large we are. We'll do that for now. Uh, I'll replace it here in a sec, though. Uh, boom, 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 boom. Okay, you're the first ones to enter the clearing, but you do hear footsteps behind you. Okay, they caught on. Uh, I'm just gonna tell Zhang, like, let's just start scouting as much as we can. I don't know what we're looking for. After you. Okay. Okay. You start exploring and looking around and you would find that this is one campsite and you see a sign that says the number four. Jong, you find down here is a shadow phone and a monitor that appears above it. Okay. Looks like this is one HQ. Yep. The regulars uh, burst past you and they're heading towards uh, the west. Well. Come on, we don't want to get too far behind. All right. Feel free to move yourselves where you want to go. Um, okay, oh. You said they're going this way, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. You find the number five here. Oh, wow, they're like right next to each other. And uh, you see that the two regulars, uh, two of them are from the team that has 10 regulars. They're running and looking around and kind of like scrambling to see what's around and <gasps> they're huffing and puffing. Are there any other paths out of this? Yep. One. You, you can head to the right to go to camp uh, four, but there's also a path down here. And there's a little area uh -huh. right here that's neutral. So to give you mm -hmm. some context, anything that has the dirt means it's a part of the territory. But if it's just grass, it's like neutral territory. Gotcha. Okay. So I guess let's go south. See what. Yeah. And while here. they're talking, Ian's going to be like, so Camp Five's interesting. It's got a tactical advantage of having kind of only one way in, one way out for the most part. But it could also get you stuck. And it can get you boxed in. Yep. Let's keep right. looking. There's got to be something better. Yeah. It doesn't take you long to see Camp 6, which is by far the biggest site you've seen. Oh, mama. <coughs> Excuse me. <clears throat> You're good. This seems too big to manage. Yeah. Hmm. Huh. Plus, you can get flanked from 4 and 5. 4 and 5, and it's got... I don't know. That's just too much. But I don't know what we need it for. <laughs> Maybe you'd need a lot of space. Hey, bug! And the two regulars appear behind you. This one's perfect! And they're running into the camp that you're in. Understandable. Have a nice... We'll let them have it, I guess. Yeah. All right. We're going to cut to uh, Wu, Leaf, and Victor. What are you going to do, Wu? Oh, well, you're muted. Oh, you're Just muted. so you know. Oh, I'm doing an observer check real quick. Go for it. Seventeen. Okay, and you're investigating the east? Yeah. Perfect. Well, I'll go ahead and pull you over there. So a bunch of regulars are starting to run over there, but your observer is faster. It flies past all of them, and it's able to scout out a base that appears to be the first one that you would find in the east. If you head to the left, here it is. Okay. And then no, I'm looking at. you notice it also finds this area, but it appears to be a little like a little area dug into the cliffside that doesn't seem to have any entrances or exits. Interesting. And then it finds that the path splits right here, and that's all it sees. Okay. That's that's good enough for now. Damien, yeah. how, how, how's the the wood gathering going? 
How is the wood gathering going? Make one athletics check for me. As you're just like tossing wood into your lighthouse, you know? Whoop-ow! That is uh, 21. 21, you gather quite a bit. And there's a moment where like a couple regulars scramble up because they're, they're noticing what you're doing and trying to copy right. you. I, I kick them down like I'm <laughs> the doom guy. <laughs> okay. With a surprising amount Stabages. of strength, you do so. <laughs> And uh, Harice Velger, you notice... Oh, I'm not showing this on Roll20. Sorry, everybody. Um, I showed part of it, but... Uh, Harice Velger is carrying a little bit of wood and tossing it into the lighthouse as well. Aww, as best he baby. Can. <laughs> and then uh, when someone tries to get up, Harice Velger tries to stop them as well. He's doing his best to keep everything under control, but it's very chaotic overall. Finish him off, Ray Spelger. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, viewers. I know it wasn't visible. Apologies. Uh, okay. So, uh, yeah, you, but your lighthouse, you're, you filled your lighthouses as much as you can with as much wood as possible. And by the time you look back, like, most of the wood is gone. It's just a few scraps now. Hmm. Delightful. Uh, with well, my big supply, with my massive supply of wood, I start heading over west. Uh, you're heading west, right? Okay. Yeah. Sounds good. And then Wu Lee Victor, you start heading to the east. I'll go ahead and follow us east here. So, you notice the one that you found, number one, there's no regulars in it. It seems that no one uh, is interested, but some regulars are running forward. And let me give you some tokens here, just for the sake of uh, the map. This token. Make it smaller. There you go. Okay, you can control it now. Okay. All right, where do you want to head? Wu and Victor are, or uh, Leaf and Victor are behind you. How high would you say these cliff sides are? I'm going to say like uh, around this area, maybe 10 to 12 feet tall. Oh, that's pretty short. Yeah. Um, I want to roll acrobatic and see if I can jump here. Oh, okay. Make that, make that roll. 17 plus 5. Yep, you're able to do so. And uh, Victor looks like he wants to jump up, but then stops himself. I'll stay with Leaf. You guys keep going ahead. See what else you can find. I'll be Got right it. behind. They head forward. Can I go this way? Yeah, you definitely can. I lost myself in the you're good, There you go. I, get it. <laughs> <laughs> I thought that would happen. Uh, yeah, so you're able to walk over to this little, uh, this little alcove thing. It looks to be it. neutral territory. Yeah, See if there's ahead. anything special about it other than it just being here out of the way. Okay. And that's a natural 20. Okay. You're looking around, you're using your observer, and immediately your observer picks up a little something right uh, right here in the corner of this little alcove. A secret passage. There's like a, some like some some grass that's kind of on the floor, but it's like a fake it's like fake, and if you poke your whole, you, there's like a hole there, basically, a little passage. So this is to the left, right? Okay, yeah, it's right here. It. If you look at my thing. Okay, I'm gonna explore. I, I take it it's gonna connect to one, but I want to make sure. So yep. I'll drop you, down. Uh, you go through the hole, and yeah, it leads right here in the corner of one. I like that. I like that a lot. All right. Good to know. Uh, I'll catch up with the rest of them. Okay. Uh, so they went to the right, which is a very long-looking base. Mm-hmm. And uh, Victor and Leaf walk up to you. This one's claimed. Let's go south before it's too late. See what's over there. All right. Start heading south, and you see regulars investigating one, but they, they're kind of just, like, looking at it from uh, from afar. You're gonna keep heading south, though. Uh, no, actually. Okay. Uh, I'm actually not about to allow this to happen, Victor. I found something interesting about one that makes me want to keep an eye on it. Okay. Uh, do you guys mind checking out the last location yourself and calling me and let me know what it's like? Yeah, sure, we'll do. Keep All right. Heads, uh, south with me. These regulars over here trying to stop me from going back in here. They're like, the regulars are like right here, and they look like they're starting to walk inside now. 
And I push past. All right, I'm gonna I'm push up past. I'll be like, pardon me, fellas. Uh, I'm afraid you'll have to pardon me. And it's Sir Henry. I we're investigating this base for our team. Please back you're off. The, you're the, the 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 guy with the oh you know at sore spot. Not never mind. Um, that's all. You well know, now that I mention it, you were eyeing me earlier. What is your deal? Nothing. Honest mistake. Confuse uh -huh. you for someone else. Sure, sure. Well, now, uh, this is. We're investigating this, and when we're done, you can have your. You can investigate yourself, okay? But, uh, just so you know, I'll be standing here uh, while you do so. Joe, there's a little bit of, uh, static coming through your end. Whoa! You're good, just so you know. If you have a problem with me standing here while you do so, Brad, I can't oblige. Ah, uh, he looks to be uncomfortable. You're talking to a knight. I asked you to leave. Is that how knights nice treat random civilians? If Aren't they you get on to my nerves. Look, man, I'm really just trying to, and as I keep talking, I'm just slightly like walking over to the corner where yeah. the, the tunnel is. Gotcha. I'm really just trying to sit down. My team's kind of annoying. You know what I'm saying? Y'all take your time and investigate, but don't mind me. Now, if it's a problem and you would like to move me, let me know, because then we can talk about that. Do you want to roll for anything to convince him? Uh, deception. Uh, I want deception so he doesn't notice the. Okay. Yeah. Uh, I don't think I'm really good. This, no, actually, that wasn't bad. That was a 15, and I got plus okay. five. Fine. This one's too small anyway. And uh, him and his team. It's just uh, three others. It looks like they're looking around, investigating. Eh, much too small for my taste. We're going. And he looks at you. Don't get on my nerves again. What was your name again? Sir Henry. Wouldn't dream of it, Sir Henry. And they uh, they walk away. Uh, uh, that's good with Victor, at least. Yep, they, they come back and they give you the details, so I'm going to reveal the area here. They describe mm. in detail what it looks like. Okay. Uh, this is the ideal spot out of this side. Okay. We should call uh, uh, yeah. the other. So I was just thinking that. Fun. We're going to cut to uh, Damien as you enter the west area, and I'm going to say you catch up with uh, Eden and Jong. Yeah, Eden would have already been headed out at this point, so okay. she would probably meet him in the camp oh. four. <laughs> you too, Jong? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Perfect. I'll put you here, Damien. Whoop. <laughs> Big you Damien. See, <laughs> you see uh, a giant Damien enter the, uh, the area. Big Damien. I think we should scrap this side. This is too open. Large teams are looking at the large campsite number six to the south. I think we need to go east quickly. Maybe we should call Wu and the others, see what they found. And All as right. if you invoked his name, you get a call from uh, from Wu. Wu, what did no. you find? Ideal space, unless you guys have anything better. No, west is really wide open, really big campsite, something we couldn't defend if we needed to. Meet me down east. On Quick our left way. after you head down the path. Sounds good. All right. We hoping. All right. Let me go ahead and just copy your uh, your tokens <laughs> over there. Ooh. Ah. Copy <laughs> and don't move you to the east. Let's go. Okay. Me. Jeez, okay, we can get a little smaller. There we go. Teleportation! Pew! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you meet up. It's a little small, but it's hear me out. Okay. And I point over to the little corner with the secret passage. Oh. What's that? If you go through here, there's a little alcove to the right that's blocked off by any path. And unless people scale the sides of the ridge, they probably won't notice it. Hmm. We can easily thinking? get to two from there if we need to. And we're close enough to the entrance. There's only one way in. And we can scale the ridge if we need to get out or make an emergency exit. I think it's perfect. So, Eden, I'm going to say one thing you noticed about the west is that the cliffs were much taller. That's one thing you noticed. Okay. Yeah, the cliffs of the west were way taller than this. This seems seems manageable. The secret passageway is interesting. 
I like secret passages. The top is easily traversable as well. Yeah. You could take other bases with this position. I'm Honestly, sure like, you could make it in a single bound, Damien, from this location. I mean, we have a point of... We have a choke point where teams trying to get in would be in mm -hmm. trouble. And if we got people posted up on the other cliffs, like Victor and I, we're spear bearers, we could have upper and, upper level and supremacy as well. Here's the best part. I was able to keep any of the other teams from noticing this passageway. So if they ah. think they have us cornered here, they really don't. Huh. I like it. Put the coin in, Woo. I like this. This is a good spot. I agree. All right. We'll take one. Well, I do think the two Wait. position is more advantageous, but you're you're low, man. I don't know if it's oh. just me. What'd you say? I I agree. I agree with everything everyone's saying. Actually. And we can easily take the two position by now that we know the cliffs. Now that we know about the secret passage, we don't necessarily need the first base. Because from no. base two we can still access that secret passageway and jump whoever ends up taking one, no? That's fair. That well, is we... there is a problem. Base two has already been taken. So we'd have to steal it. Oh. We could steal it. Once we lose a base, we can't reclaim it, though. Right. That's the only thing. Wait so a minute. So if we lose one, we can't reclaim if it. If we take base two, but then take out one of the other teams, can we take their coin? Good question. He never said we couldn't. Well, the ranker said if you put your... If you take over a base and you put your coin into an already occupied phone booth, it'll spit out the other team's coin. <laughs> right. So if we get rid of that team and take their coin... Is Basically, what Jog is saying is if there's no team left to hold their coin, what happens to that last coin? Yeah. And also, there's technically a site that will go unclaimed because Ginbu was a one-man team. True. We don't want to spread our forces too thin, though. Right. We want this one, though. Right? I say, we, agreement. I say we hold this down and we still got plenty of time so we can not put the coin in if you don't want to and wait and see what how things play out or we can just claim it now. Either way, yeah. I don't think we should leave. I think we should claim it now. Which team has space or which team has site two? Oh. I don't Victor. really know who was on their team, to be honest. But uh, it was four people. Four people. Hmm. Well, I mean, we don't even really have to fight him. I could just sneak in and put my coin in, and then they can't do anything about it. Well, let's eliminate where these, where the rest of the teams are settling, right? You got a uh, loud and proud's number, right? Call them, see where they are finding. Oh, that's that's a good point. Okay, yeah. I'll call. I'm calling Min. Hey, you listen to that music yet, man? Uh, no, I no it's no a bop, man. Right? You gotta admit it's a bop. Yeah, yeah. I haven't listened to it, but I'm sure it is. It's that's that's yeah. Dude, so, uh, so where big. are you guys oh. settling? Uh, hey guys, what what camp? What site is this? What's the number? Uh huh? No. Okay, we're at number five. Oh, you guys already put your coin in? Yeah, not yet because uh, Butterscotch said it'd be better if we waited. Oh. Well, I mean, we can give you a good spot in three if you want it, because we're going to probably take one. Three? You think? I, we haven't been east yet. Is it good? Uh, it seems okay. We like the spot at one. We hey, have yo. it locked down. Frog guy's saying you could give us number three. Uh, er Eric. <laughs> Actually, you know what? Frog guy is fine. <laughs> <laughs> uh huh. Uh huh. Okay, uh, I'm gonna come over and I'm gonna see what uh, number three looks like. Sound good? Yeah, sounds good. Okay, and a couple minutes so later, we... he arrives. Or unless you wanna talk beforehand. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Assuming three hasn't already been claimed, someone should probably go. Uh, uh, I'll go. Make sure it's not claimed. Good, excellent, fantastic. Uh, and then Min arrives. Let's see what this campsite's all about. Yeah, this is good. This is actually great if they take three. Leaf comes back. Um, it's it's been taken. By who? Um, some guy in armor. Oh no. Oh, that loud person team took took well, small area? to be fair, there's only three of them, and they're pretty weak from my Four, brain. just so you, it's four of them. Oh, nah, uh, three, four, they're all weak. Uh, if we need well. to take it from them and we... Join forces with Loud and Proud. I feel like it shouldn't be a problem. 
Yeah, I mean, if the, it can take a place in the east and or in the west, and then we can take a base, and then they can take our old base. I'm kind of curious why you guys chose this location. It's kind of small, don't you think? It's gonna be a little crowded in here. It'll make. Don't it worry about it. It's got a pretty good choke point and high cliffs to defend. So, I mean, we're used to camping out in small spaces. We'll be just. Go, 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 go. Sure, 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 sure. Got you, got you, got you, got you, got you. Let us know when you get set up. I got you. No need to worry about it. So we're we're stealing three, right? We're stealing three. Yeah. Just or, get your uh, team wait, ready. We'll wait. Or are we gonna steal three and then they can take one for free? No, no, no. We are taking no, no, one. No, no, no. Yeah. We can we can send one or two of us to help them take three. You know what I'm saying? But we don't. It's their job to get their own base. I just want them there because then who's no we'll issue. Denial. There's only two teams on the west side at that point. I mean, yeah. you know, if we want to for sure have a good position in the west or in the east, we could give up one and go for three. Uh, I want to keep one. I like one. <laughs> I really One's like pretty one. cozy. Well, if they can't take three, then. Well, we can help them take three. We'll help them take three. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. But yeah. All right. We can hold down one and like we can put the coin in one and help them take three if we really want to. That's I have an idea. I'll be the official phone keeper. I'll stand by the phone and make sure no one can uh, sneak inside and spit their coin. Not a bad plan. Alright, uh, one sec, one sec. And I pull out the gourd. And I take the, uh, tell me you got this this throne asset still on. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> Let me go ahead and snag it because I do have it on hand. Uh, or, or, keep it around. Oh, boy. <laughs> yeah. Our coin is in there, place. right? I'm just going to place that stuff. right in front of the secret passageway. <laughs> oh my gosh. That's the smartest. Very That's, inconspicuous. <laughs> What's this throne chair doing here? I'm sure it's nothing. There you go. <laughs> All right, we're good. We're set. <laughs> nice so carbon to New York. <laughs> <laughs> now it's a home. So this is our base then, right? Yeah. Yes, ours. please, it's, coin. It's wait, wait, we're not. Put we're not, the coin in. I don't think we're doing the coin thing yet, are we? Oh, oh my we... lighthouses are heavy. Oh. You... Okay. Um, can we just what? vote? Are you guys cool with this? We just put the coin yes, in. Yes, put the coin right. in. All right, the coin's going in. You guys are cool. All right. Coins in. Coins in. A bunch of wood. <laughs> All the wood for my life. Coins in. Feel free to dump the wood, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Damien's been playing some Fortnite. No. Oh. <laughs> okay, you stick the coin in and something interesting happens because when you do so, uh -uh. it goes in and kind of lights up and uh, you see your team name even appear, Team Recall, and it kind of gives like a little success sound, but then the monitor lights up and you see Brack <gasps> in the labyrinth. Brack. Can he Hello, that? Brack. Can you hear me? It is me, Brack. No Hello. Response. I'm pretty sure you can't uh, talk to them. Yeah. I Probably thought this was a phone. See them, well, maybe. They always, didn't the guy guys, say that? phones work two ways. Right. It means there has to be a phone on the inside that Brack would have to reach. We can't just yell at him through a monitor. Wait, can you guys remind me? So... Does this count as one of the three times over the course of the week that we can see inside, or is that only on the big monitor? Pretty sure it's in the big monitor, but it, they okay. didn't really specify what these are going to be used for yet. I see. Eden's going to go over and pick up the receiver and see if she can hear anything. Nothing. You don't hear anything. He did also say that today it wasn't going to have anything to do with helping the heroes, so I don't think we're going to be interacting with Brack at all today. That's a good point. She hangs it back up. I guess it's just showing us we be okay. Yeah. Of so we're just supposed to sit here and wait? Well, Min should be back with the rest of his team soon if you guys want to get up to some mischief. I know I'm always down for some mischief. I'm not going to lie. I could use a fight. He just sitting here doing nothing. Just, uh, hey, yo, uh, woo. No more, no more earthquakes, right? First of all, there's absolutely no way they can prove it's me. This nonsense about four centuries will not is not gonna hold up. Secondly, it wasn't that serious. And what, who cares about some ground that jihad and it, no, no, you're not gonna make me feel bad about this. Yeah, it's, it was important to them. 
Well, then I hope they don't feel any type of way about that waterfall. <laughs> Wait, what did you do in the waterfall? N nothing. You don't want to know. I forget I said that. Wait, you. Never mind. Yeah, like oh you said. Oh my god, dude. You don't want to know. To be honest, I bet you they're making half of it up. If it's been thousands of years, who's to say if it's even true? Exactly. Also, who cares? When did we get invested in Roku Village? I mean, it's a pretty nice town, but yeah. <laughs> okay, let's let's focus in on we are helping Loud and Proud take three, correct? Yep. Okay. Who is going with the... Uh, the strike team. I'll go. All right. I volunteer myself to wait at the base. Okay. I'll Pretty watch sure this Victor... choke point and I will make sure that no one takes it. I'm pretty sure Victor said he's gonna hold it down. Oh, he can the watch phone, the So he can, he can watch the phone. I'll I'll okay. be the gatekeeper who wards off intruders. You know what, Leaf? I think you should go with John. Oh, sure. That that works. Um, yeah, right. else? I'm gonna have Leaf, a drink. It's fine. We don't need anybody else. Let's go. Just you and uh, yeah. John okay. Walking out. And we'll don't soon. hey hey. Hmm? Make sure they do their fair share of work. All right. Don't just be holding their hands out there. Okay. Got it. And they uh, they head off. They D. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> Oh, come on. <laughs> when they uh they are gonna head off and uh, at this point we're gonna cut back into the labyrinth oh. all right i was interested in saying what happened to, <laughs> to the people <laughs> that went to three. Oh, they're gonna die no i was talking about uh lopobia uh i said lopobia uh the takis team yeah. uh oh uh -oh. right. Leaf and John about to clean house, though. Yeah, yeah. Uh, give me one sec. There we go. Oh, let me scroll down. Yes. Okay. After a bit of walking, you end up coming to another crossroads here. <sighs> another one of these situations where it's a flip of the coin. Big H. You sense anything? He walks forward and listens. He shakes his head. You don't sense anything. Okay. I'm gonna try to see if I can. I haven't really been in tune with that side of myself in a in a long time. But let's try it. Brack's, Brack want to see if he can, like, sense ripples in the Shinsu. Oh, yeah, yeah. Make an Arcana check. All right. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. Big bucks, big bucks. No wings. Can't see. Can't see. Shut up. <laughs> oh, that's five. <laughs> you're, you're out of practice a little bit, so you try your best. But you also notice that this cave isn't helping you much with your uh, focus. It's... Mm. Way too quiet and just lifeless. <sighs> the one time in my life where I need chaos and there's absolutely none. All right. Uh, there's okay. something you should all probably know about this cave. Genbu walks forward. They call it a labyrinth for a reason. Don't be surprised if. You wake up one day and everything looks different than what, than how you remember. This cave, some say it's alive. Perhaps it itself is the main danger. So are you telling me, young man, that we're inside the belly of the beast? Why, I guess I am. I don't like the sound of that. <sighs> Do any of you have any special tricks or traits that you want to tell 
you know, your good buddy brack about. Like, right now would be a good time. Uh, sure. And Misuk walks forward. Uh, Priestess, what do you have to tell? But before I do, I want to make sure that we're all trusting each other. And so I believe it would be beneficial, before we share any of our secrets, that we learn more about one another. That does sound like a good idea. How about you go first? I'd love to. I was born and raised in a tribe that has existed for many years, far before regulars and rankers even existed in this tower. We would use Shinsu before we even knew it was called something like that. And I myself have an affinity for... And she looks at you, Brack. Nature. However, I also believe that God watches us. And if you follow what he shows you, if you follow his chosen path that he has set out for you, you will have eternal happiness. I'm sorry, I don't mean to start preaching, but that's a little bit about who I am. Um, I don't like to fight, but I will if there's no other choice. Because sometimes God's plans are mysterious. Anyone else? I was well put, Priestess. I guess I'll go ahead and go, you know, since I am your leader. Um. <laughs> whoa, 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 whoa. Uh, we don't have a leader. We're all working together to progress because they did say that, uh, hate to break it to you guys, we're going to have to turn on each other at some point. I don't like the sound of that, but that's just kind of how it is. I kind of feel like we probably shouldn't learn about each other because it might make it a little harder down the line. You know what I'm saying? Rabbit. Rabbit. We have one person in the group who has been able to survive every single test that has been thrown at this particular village. That is the young man that is sitting over there with the cane and the nice, stout goatee. He if anybody is going to survive this, when we have to turn on each other, it would be him since he survived. Who knows how many of these got there going to test? So I think that it will be in all of our best interest, especially yours, if we just learned a little bit about each other. Okay, okay. I wasn't that serious. I was just... As long as we don't have a leader. That's all. All right, ain't you. All right. Um, <clears throat> Hello, everyone. Nice to meet you. Name's Brack. Uh, I was... I normally tell everyone that I was born on floor 74. But the truth is, I don't know where I was born. That's just where I was found. I was raised... By a particular group that called themselves the Defenders of the Wave. They raised me with the intent of eventually becoming one of their main enforcers. However, the one who raised me decided that he did not want that life for me. And instead, he allowed me to as I found recently, we might as well just say, quote unquote, escape. Because the person that he was trying to get me away from, he found me recently. Or phew, who knows how long he actually had me in his sights. But we're, they're a particular religious bunch. Instead of believing in, you know, a god like our dear priestess over there, we believe in the divine water around us called Shinsu. Now, the way that we treat this water is sacred. It's holy. It gives us life. It gives us air. It gives us the ability to be able to protect ourselves. It's everything to us. I understand that I lost my faith. Throughout my 500 years in the tower and 400 years of being alone. 
It wasn't until recently when it was restored. And it was restored thanks to the wonderful people that I call my teammates. There are more than teammates to me. They're my family. And it just took me until recently to realize exactly why my father had me escape. But just know that this trusty dusty thing right here, you get out of line, each and every single one of you are going to get it. I'm not going to tell you what this is. Just know it's powerful. Next person up. Thank you so much for sharing that, Jack. And she puts a hand on your, sh well, she tries. She puts it on your arm. You did not have to share all of that, but now I trust you wholeheartedly. Thank you. That's the reason why I did it. He says under his breath. And then <laughs> <laughs> well, um, not much to say about me. This is Hedge. Spear Bear. Um, I'm really just an ordinary guy climbing the tower. I have a family. Yeah. Next. Well done, brother. Brother, brother Hedge. <clears throat> Next, uh, young man. Oh, I am not going to bore you with my life story, but I, I have no intention of becoming a ranker or climbing much past this floor. What I do enjoy is helping regulars, saving them. That's why I became a defender. That's really all there is to know about little old me. And by the way, he says to you, Brack, so you're, you're quite a few years old, but just know that I'm still older. He kind of just chuckles. <laughs> Impossible. What's your age? Tell me right now, no else it don't count. Oh, I know it's more than a thousand years, boy. It's been quite a long time. So I suppose Touché. you're the young man. To me. Touche. 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 You won. You won. You won. <laughs> it's not <clears throat> a competition, boy. Um, but how about our silent giant? Hugo just looks around. And he pulls out something from one of his pockets. It's basically a clump of wood. And he pulls out a little knife as well. And he starts carving really quickly. And after about two minutes, so it's a bit of an awkward silence, but he stops and gives this gives it to you, Breck. Brack wraps it. It's a, it's it, it could be more detailed, but for two minutes it's very detailed. It's a little uh a little carving of woo. Carving of woo. Yep. What? So 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 you know woo. He's just looking down. He looks kind of shy. <gasps> oh. Oh, you like wool? <laughs> when you say that, his eyes just go wide and he just starts like waving his hands like, no, no, no. Oh, wool's the homie. He nods. Got you. Looks like we're on the same team, bitch. All right. What about you over there, bunny? I'm sorry, the more esteemed, prestigious rabbit of the Lopobia family. Yeah, go, go ahead and just... My name is Lopobia Taki. I'm a member of the Lopobia family, leader of Loud and Proud and fa a fast regular in this tower. And, uh, you know, I fight with my legs. I like my family a lot. I've got lots of brothers and sisters. And, uh, 
I have two rules. I don't fight members of my family, and I don't fight women. That's it. Aside from that, I, uh... I travel the tower looking to make some more friends. Especially members of my family that I haven't met yet. Uh, when, uh... When Taki says that he don't hit women, Brock leans over to the priestess and says, you know, if we do have to fight each other, you could sneak him, and he wouldn't do anything to you. Like, you could just completely obliterate him, and nothing would happen. I, I know, I know, I, I know you're a pacifist or pseudo pacifist, however, whatever you, whatever you want to call it. But you could just, you know. She's just what? staring at you. Aren't you his friend? Acquaintances. Uh, friend is a very strong word. Acquaintances is, is more along the line. We tolerate each other. We we banter back and forth. Acquaintance. Friend. If I do have to fight anyone, I wouldn't want it to be shameful. I would want God himself to judge the battle fair and square. I think God would want you to take his legs, but you know, that's just me. That's that's just the, the Shinsu is talking to me and through me it speaks I, to you I, and it says take the legs. On your arm. I appreciate it, but you are not God. I could be your <clears throat> God catch yourself. <laughs> uh, <laughs> deep breath, Julios, deep breath. We haven't even hit the break yet, bro. It's literally been a couple of hours in the labyrinth, my guy. Like, bless me. <laughs> Y'all might need to make two separate teams. <laughs> hit rewind button and start again. <laughs> By the way, we do have a new email, and I see chat is making proper use of it. <laughs> oh, oh, no. Amazing. I see the what sign. I approve, oh. I approve, I approve. Um, okay, I understand. I understand. <clears throat> Thank you, Priestess. And Brock walks off. <laughs> Brock walks back to the front of the group. Sure, sure, sure. Uh, he tries to negotiate with, uh, with, with Hugo to figure out, like, which direction they should go. Okay, and as you're doing so, Misook steps forward. I now trust all of you. And I would like to demonstrate something that I can do. And she puts her hands together. And she starts, like, muttering under her breath. And then she goes... And she blows air out of her mouth. And a tiny little butterfly comes out of her mouth. And uh, it looks to be made of crystal very shiny and it starts flapping around and she starts whispering to it and uh it goes down the left corridor as she do that brack taps hugo twice big h big h big h she has the kiss of john the kiss of life he has the kiss of healing she has the kiss of life what are all these kisses yeah, uh, pay me no mind I just, I just, it looked exciting. Uh, yeah. And then he just goes back to looking at the butterfly. Okay. The butterfly <laughs> goes out of sight and she says, and now we wait. All right. How, how long does this normally take, Priestess? It varies. Okay. What happens if something catches it and destroys it? God would not let that happen. Mm, okay. Mm, okay. But even if something were to happen, I can repair it. From this distance? No. If I collect the fragments. But... So you will know when it's destroyed? Yes. Ah, good, good, good. That's all I wanted to know. In fact, uh I believe it's returning. And the butterfly comes back and she starts whispering with it again. I see. Thank you so much. There appears to be something up ahead. Something quite large. But right. also another chest. <sighs> Super Bunny, are you ready for your next power Ooh, up? You know I am. Let's do this. 
Goddamn, Energizer Bunny. I can't believe this. All right. <clears throat> Hold on. What, there's something up ahead. What if it's dangerous? I will. You have Hugo. Or Big H. You have the Queen of Life over here. And we also have... <sighs> The young man that's the old man that's a thousand years old that I still can't believe that's older than me, but whatever, whatever. But you have him, and I think we'll be all right. I think collecting as many boons to power up our supercharged rabbit over here would be in our best interest for whatever's deeper in, in this place. Okay, let's go. So and, uh, you start heading to the left. Whoops, I keep, uh, keep, it keeps doing that for some reason. I apologize. I'm right. in the darkness. <laughs> <laughs> okay. And before long, you see something quite large. A huge clay doll golem looking creature is sitting down in a slumped position. Unmoving. You see I'm it has moving. like a little gemstone in the uh, center of its chest, but it's not glowing. The whole thing looks very, very old, as if it hasn't moved in years. God, I got did it again. All right, Brack goes back to the team. All right. Looking at the situ uh, situation. Priestess, the thing your uh, beautiful I found was not moving. I see. Now, yes, that makes sense. <clears throat> if I were to go by history of every single time something went wrong with me and my team, that thing will move as soon as we get close to the chest. So, Rabbit, you said you're the fastest one in the tower, right? Right, old buddy, old pal, old buddy, old pal of mine? I was made for this. You kidding me? All right. So, this is what we'll do. Hedge. Yeah? I need for you to be right here. All right. Taki. <sighs> I actually called you by your name. I can't believe this. Uh, but I need you to do something for me. And as you said, respect is the best way for you to get someone to do anything. I need you. To move as fast as you can to get that. Before you do that, Defender, do you have any sort of supportive ability that will be able to intercept an attack? Indeed I do. However, it would be more beneficial if I were close to the person. But you don't look like you mobile. How are you going? You don't have to worry about that. So you're saying you got feet too? I do indeed have feet, yes. Okay. Don't get caught, old man. All right. Look, so let me get the chest. It'll be easy. Okay, I'll be there and back in a second. All right. Go ahead, old man. Stay close to him. Taki starts stretching, stretching his legs, touching his toes. Big H, get ready. He looks at you confused. Me, uh, <laughs> priestess. <laughs> the okay. second things go left, get right beside Hedge. All right. And finally, after all his stretching, Taki, poof, he rushes forward as fast as he was during that race after he recovered from the earthquake. And he, with one hand, starts opening up the chest but then it slams down onto his hand. Ah! And then he screams in pain. Uh-oh. Ah, 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 ah. Uh, uh, looks ah. like the rabbit has been caught in a trap. All right, um. Positions. Immediately everyone starts walking forward. Hold up, hold up, not everyone, not everyone. Gimbal, on me. Uh, I need help, Big please, H, please. On me too. Ah, ah, ah. Brack goes up and he tries to unsnare Taki from the trap. Hugo also rushes forward. Make a strength check. 
Oh, heart of the cards. Heart of the roll. Heart of the roll. Come on now. Come on now. Don't banish me to the shadow realm. Uh, 15. 15? Okay. Both you and Hugo, it's like, it snaps down tight. You lift it up, and you hear this sick sound as spikes come out of Taki's hand. And you finally lift the chest back, and it finally it stays put open. <sighs> My hand, my hand. Oh my god, oh my god. And you see like three just huge holes in the palm of his hand. At least he don't need that to run. Uh, uh I had tis but a flesh wound near the hill. Don't worry about that. He's just uh, like too shocked to even say anything. Hugo uh, is looking at the golem, grabbing his hammer. But it's not moving. Alright. So what's in the chest? Would it be possible for me to look in the chest without, like, reaching my hand in there? Mm -hmm. Yeah, for sure, for sure. All right. So I just want to, I just want to look in. I just want to look in to see what's in there. Yeah, you see two things in the chest this time. You see that same clay fragment that Taki had had before, but then another one that looks very similar, but looks like just a glob of water. That's kind of like, looks solid to you. All oh, right. I know I'm gonna regret this, but priestess, on me. All right. She comes forward. I t above the table, I take it. Whoever touches it is who the boon goes to. So. Let me go back under the table. Rabbit, grab the clay one. Priestess, grab the water one. Okay. I'll okay. hold open the chest. No, Hugo and I will hold open the chest. Big H and I will hold open the chest. Hugo nods. All right. I trust you. And... Taki, he lets go of his hand. It's all covered in blood, and he puts his other hand inside, along with Misuk, and the chest immediately starts to try to snap shut, but you and Hugo are holding it back as best as you can. Make another strength check. See, I knew this was gonna happen. <laughs> Remember to add your modifiers. Uh, I want to say 13. Okay, you you had a you were the one who you 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 could tell that this time Hugo is putting in even more work than before, keeping the chest at bay. They grab the fragments and then Hugo looks at you. They pull their hands out. Hugo, let go. He lets go. We both let go at the same time. I want to say immediately just snaps shut and you hear steel clash together as if teeth scrape against each other. All right. Bunny, this makes up for it. I, I, I got you another piece. I got you another piece. Yeah. Shake my hand. Shake I'm my not, hand and tell I'm me not, it's okay. No, no. <laughs> Shake my hand and tell me it's okay. I'm Give not me the your damn hand, Brack. All right. And uh, the clay fragment starts moving around him. So now there's two swirling, and then Misuk has the, the water one swirling around her. All right. <sighs> Good. God is good. God is good. Big H, thank you, Beth. Taki there. looks at her with huge eyes when she says that. <laughs> <laughs> Taki, you can't blame her that God forsake yeah. you. If you would have prayed, you know, maybe oh, he sure. would have been yeah, on your yeah, side. Yeah, uh -huh. Sure. Yeah. See. See. All right. Let's go ahead and go back. I want to stay behind them and have them go forward. Okay. Just in case that golem get up. Hugo also waits for them, but they, they move away fine. All right. I want Hugo and I to walk away. Okay. okay. And nothing happens. All right. Looks like that golem <sighs> could have been a dud. Okay. Back in formation. And you notice that Hedge had his spear at the ready, but Genbu is trying, he was moving towards you all. Oh, 
Oh, is everything all right now? Uh, <clears throat> old man. Mm -hmm. I thought you said that you could keep up with, 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 with Sir Fuzzy Ears over here. Oh, no, I'm sure I'm not faster than the second fastest regular. Well, you told me that you could keep up with him. No, I told you I have feet. Oh my God, you are old. You do not understand slang. Okay, you you didn't understand what I meant by you have feet. Mm -hmm. Don't okay. worry, don't worry about it. He almost lost in hand. I'm okay, I'm okay. No, 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 no. I've got no, no, 10 no, no, no. family blood. I'm sure it'll stop soon. Shh, 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 shh. God. Shh, 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 shh. It's okay, little rabbit. It's okay. Calm down now. You're okay. All right. Now, old man, I thought you, I thought you said that you protect the regulars. that, Or you try to protect the regulars that were in here. Why am I getting this, this odd sense that you're not a protector. You're not a defender. Because you would have defended him from that trap. It was too quick. I didn't expect it. Even after all these years, this labyrinth still catches me by surprise. So you have been in this labyrinth before. Of course. But it always changes. Always. May, may I ask just, you know, <clears throat> the slightest... Slightest, slightest, easy alley oop <clears throat> question. Have you seen any of these trap chests before? Yes. So, with my little bracky brain, what I'm thinking is if you've seen these chests before, then that means that. There's a possibility you knew that was going to happen. We should not be blaming our team, Brack. I'm not blaming anyone. Brack never, ne Brack never, Brack never threw out an accusation. Brack never said that you did this. Brack never said that you want some BS. All Brack is saying is that you didn't speak up. And for that, I apologize. My brain is not what it used to be. And there's many things I need to remember. For example, these golem creatures. I've seen them before. How do so, they activate? All I know is that the secret lies in the crystal in their chests. They're called Bawi. Bawi. Would that crystal be some form of currency? Are you willing to pry it out? If so, I will be next to you. And this time I'll be prepared to defend you. I'm going to be honest with you, old man. I love you. I have respect for you. God damn it, I think that you could be a good defender. But as you said, old age has caught up with you. And your response time is that of the Shinsu police. You only come <laughs> when needed, not when wanted. And I can't trust that. Big H, come with me. Hedge. You gonna... Hedge. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Be on the ready. Right. Harpoon ready. I mean, spear. I, mean, I have the harpoon. Spear. Spear ready. Ready. Yep, yep, yep. And uh priestess. <clears throat> you know, since I helped you out and you got that power up, um I mean if you blow a kiss my way, <clears throat> you know, just make sure that it's aimed at the golem. Of course. Got you. And uh Taki exactly. What if I went with you to help you retrieve this mineral? I don't want to put you in harm's way, your wave controller. Are you ranged or short range? Mostly ranged. Then it would be best for you to stay back. <sighs> my supercharged rabbit. Yeah. My little energizer. Yeah. You stay That's back not... here and tend to your wound. Okay. Thanks. <sighs> Big H on me. And we walk up to the golem. 
You walk up to the golem, and when you turn around, Genbu's behind you. Okay. Big H, get behind the golem. When I pull this thing out, if it moves, bonk it on the head. He nods. He readies his hammer. I reach my hand into its chest. I grab the crystal, and I try to pull it out. Make another strength roll. <laughs> 17. 17. Let me make a roll here. Okay. You're pulling, and it takes some effort, but you finally rip it out of the chest. And when you do, the, the golem just collapses face first onto the ground. And dust pushes away from it. Old man, I thought we were in for a fight. What just happened? As I said, some of them are inactive. Did I not say that? You did. You did. You did. Good call. Good call. Good call. Love you, G. All right. Now, I don't know what this thing is that we have, but we have it. Anyone has any ideas as to what this thing could be? I just think it's I a crystal. Know what it is. Actually. Explain away. It's Roku Priestess. Tight. It's, it's, a, it's a Huda Height? Roku Tight. Uh, uh, elaborate. All I know is that it is a mineral found around Roku Village. They had some on display at the... At the shrine, they had some at the shrine, and I went uh, to one of the villagers. They explained that it was a very special mineral. Ah, uh, okay. And I take it that they didn't give much outside of that. All right. Well, serves me. It is a very solid substance, and it's even prized by some rankers. Apparently, it can be made into armor and weapons. However, a chunk like that is pretty small. So what you're saying is it's valuable? I believe so. Inventory open. All right, guys, I'm just going to hold on to this. Um, <clears throat> syndicate business. Don't ask me what that is. Um, I'm just going to put this in here. Pull that out the way. Yeah. Ah, right there. Okay, good. Now, now that we got that, Maybe we'll need it later on down the line. If we don't, <clears throat> don't worry about it. Just know it's in a safe place. Very safe place. <clears throat> My wallet. Now, let's go ahead and continue on. They all agree. Taki's able to bandage his hand. He says he's okay. Puts a smile on his face. But you can tell he's kind of forcing it. And uh, you all continue down into the depths of the labyrinth. We're gonna take our break. Don't go anywhere, anybody. Enjoy the memes, enjoy the fan art, and we'll see you very soon. Bye. Cheeky.
God, please, no, 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 no!
Welcome back, everybody, to Towers and Gods. Thank you all so, so much for the incredible memes and fan art. Very, very good. We, we had a blast watching all of that. And uh, if you want to submit your own, the link is down below. Feel free to uh, do so, and I will uh, credit you, of course. I want to say the person who submitted the OCs was Ramoru Tempest. I miscredited you. I apologize for that. So thank you so much for the OC fan art. Looking really, really cool, as always. Um, and uh, yeah, feel free to like the episode if you haven't already. And I think we'll just jump back into things. Is there anything you guys, guys want to say before we do? Beautiful art and keep the talkie memes coming. Great. <laughs> no, <laughs> poor guy. I, I want to say I'm starting to feel bad for talkie. Okay, fair enough. Be a little bad for talkie, you know. But uh, wait, still gonna clown him though. I was gonna say you him. said you didn't regret cheating earlier. So. No, no, but that doesn't mean that. Look, I'm just seeing. I'm seeing. Professional levels of gaslighting happening before my eyes, and you know, <laughs> you have a heart somewhere. <laughs> Fair enough. Fair enough. Uh, but okay, well, we'll go ahead and cut back to everything. So we're going to cut to the group uh, who is outside the cave. Cool. Okay. So while Jong and Leaf are heading towards the third campsite, what is everyone else doing? Putting a barrier up. Boom. Wait. Uh, a barrier? Okay. Yeah. Boom. Not a barrier. Yeah. How, how so? Lighthouse barrier. Just, you know, straight line. Oh, just a lighthouse barrier? Okay. Yeah. So, you know, anyone who walks in, boom. They hit the walk into the barrier. And then I say, what's the password? Okay. Sure. Sure. Well, I'm going to say that uh, Min, you see Min start to walk up. He's whistling a tune. Hey, hey. Oh, and I walk over. I say hello. What's the uh, what's the plan? We're ready to storm the third camp. Yes, we have two operatives waiting for you up ahead, and we can begin. Oh, okay. <laughs> I like it. You're on the edge of the cliff. All right, perfect. Uh, yep, I brought Beryl and Dan. And you see Beryl oh. and Dan behind Min. Delightful. Do they look tough? Some of them look tough. Uh, Dan looks big. Uh, like has a fair amount of muscle. Barrel is just very rotund, and uh, he doesn't look like he'd be very good at fighting. He just has a big smile on his face. Well, A for effort, guys. Our <laughs> operative will take care of you. <laughs> good luck. I wish you the best of he luck. He said, I endeavor. love the costumes, guys. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and of course... I have instructed my fellows that if you need backup, they will arrive. But we don't think that you'll need it. The three of us should be enough. But thank you. Well, yeah, I mean, you know, you got, you got a few more. I'll do it like this. I'll give them names in a second. Okay. They end up uh, leaving to go join Jong and Leaf. Jong and Leaf, you see these three individuals walk up. Oh, great. Can we help you guys? Uh, we're from Team Loud and Proud. We're here to help you take Camp 3. Zhong just kind of looks them up and down. Uh, the same vibe as before. Same thing that Damien saw. <clears throat> Alright, don't blame me if you fools get hurt. Uh, uh, what he means to say is we're happy to work together. Let's do this. Yeah, that's what I meant to say. Okay, you end up uh, heading down. There's someone at the edge of the campsite. Uh, it looks to be a uh, uh, a young lady. Uh, she's wearing a purple dress. Um, you're not allowed to continue any further, Sir Henry's orders. Oh, really? Where is this Sir Henry? Um, I am Sir Henry. He walks forward with a sword at his side, wearing his shiny armor, his oh, blonde hair and a ponytail. Sir Henry. I have guests. We're gonna no, need you, you are and not your invited team. to the wedding. <laughs> what? You're not invited to the wedding. I know what I said earlier, but you're not invited. Now please leave our base. Thank All right, you. I'm gonna pretend like you're not talking. Henry, I've got two options for you. You take your team and leave this campsite as fast as possible, or we move you. You move us. How so? Jong puts his hand on his sword. Painfully. 
do you want to roll for intimidation? Uh, yeah, actually. Go for it. Scare this clowns real quick. What is my intimidation? Ooh, that's pretty high. Uh, 15. 15. You see him swallow. How about instead we come to an agreement? You look pretty strong. He looks at you, Jong. How about you and I parley? No. Okay. Let's just talk for a second, without any of our other teammates getting in the way. Does that sound good? Jong looks back at the the people that he came with. They just shrug. <sighs> Tell you what, Henry. Since I'm uh, a little bored, you've got one minute to make your case. If I'm not convinced, I'm personally going to move you and your entire team out of this camp. Look. Go ahead. Okay, uh, we're timed. Uh, wait, when does the minute start? Just so it's I already know started. I am getting married to a very influential princess. A princess of a small kingdom, but a kingdom nonetheless. I need men at my side and women. Who can protect me and serve me, and I will repay you. Oh, yeah, this is not helping your case, Henry. How about instead, you're two different teams. What's going on? What? Why are you working with them when you could be instead working with us? Hmm, interesting question. The answer is none of your business, of course. You're working with <laughs> these loud and pr proud idiots. Working. I'm marrying with... Hong Freya. Twenty, nineteen, eighteen. Uh... Single combat, you and I. Oh, you would, you wouldn't back down from that <laughs> challenge, would you? Oh, Henry, I was really hoping you'd say something like that. Light work, easy work. Oh. Um. John, we don't have to do this. Leave. It's all right. It'll be quick. Meet me in the main center. Meet me in the ring outside the labyrinth. No. We do this right here. Right no, now. No, I'm afraid we do it in the ring. Oh, really? What's to stop me from killing all of you right now? Oh, don't use the word kill. <sighs> but it's accurate, no? I wasn't thinking of fight to the death. That is barbaric. <laughs> Why, you think you could stop me? If my teammates, my subordinates, saw you do that to me, your life would be over in an instant. And if King Francis ever found out, your head would be on a spike. No, if you win, I'll do more than just give you my campsite. I'll pledge my team's loyalty to you. Damn, that's interesting. Because I really couldn't care less about you and your pathetic team. Even a little bit. Here's how this goes down, Henry. You and I are going to fight right now. And if you can live, if you can survive, you and your team get to walk out of this camp alive. If not, your leaderless team will have to take themselves and leave. Could you repeat that? <laughs> Just kill him, bro. Look. <laughs> Henry. At, at, really quick, at this point, he, uh, two other teammates have uh, have joined him. Behind him. Mm-hmm. So, is it just going to be you and me, or are we all fighting? You and me. The winner... The winner is the one in charge. The loser has to vanquish and give up their territory. Henry, I thought I was pretty clear. This is not going to be a fight to the death. If you challenge me, I'm not letting you walk away if I win. I know I can convince you if we just talk some more. I'm pretty sure you can't. 
But I'm I would love for you sure to go ahead that and I try. can. <laughs> you don't understand. I've accumulated quite a bit of wealth during my climb. What is it you want? Tell me what you want and I can give it to you. I want you and your weak ass team to get out of this camp as soon as possible. And now you're trying my patience. So I'm going to count down from 10. And if I get to zero and you guys aren't out of here or you're not drawing your weapon, then I'm just going to kill all of you right here, right now. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four. Hold on. I have, I promise you, I will leave the camp, but I'm just going to show you one simple thing. If this doesn't convince you, I will leave. We actually didn't even want this campsite. I'm going to show you one thing. If this doesn't work to get you on my side, I don't know what will. And he pulls out his pocket. <sighs> the love of my life. This beauty goes beyond space and time. And he shows you a picture of the woman. Not! Uh -oh. I refuse! Kill him! Kill him! It's fine! <laughs> Joe, you devious! You're so mean! <laughs> you <I'm> devious! Um. <laughs> He's gone! He's just gone! It's been a great show, folks! I hope we've entertained you! That's what you meant by that mean! Oh, oh you my really God. what he meant! Mmm. Oh, you yeah, got me <laughs> Like it's it's Hong Freya, excuse me. Oh man. Dang. Yo, ten out of ten. Bravo. Best episode. Best episode. <laughs> Best episode. <laughs> oh. So Wu's gone forever. Yeah, I think we you know. Just He's just gone. <laughs> Cut to Wu next episode. Yeah, that was, yeah, that was rough. Okay, because the choice isn't his, it's yours, John. <laughs> <laughs> um, He's closest hey, with Wu, though. He knows Above the he table. Is. Above the table. If you kill him now, then that means that he still get his chances with Lady Lake, you know, a princess. <laughs> you know, the only reason why she wasn't texting him was because she was with Sir... What, what's yeah. his face? Yeah, but what if she actually cares about him? She don't care about him. It's an arranged <laughs> marriage. She I mean, don't care about him. <laughs> but if she does, then she's our enemy after that. <laughs> we, all our, we, all John, we call her. <clears throat> we have her number. <laughs> I'm, uh... Joe, I'm gonna need you to roll initiative. <laughs> okay, oh, oh, here we go! All right, all right, all right. I'm taking all these fools out. Welcome back, Wu. Good to, good to see you. Um, okay. Zhang made the decision you <laughs> thought he would. <laughs> Wait, what do you, what do you do? What I missed? He said roll I'm about initiative. To kill some regulars. Are you killing him? Mm-hmm. Don't don't bring him back alive. <laughs> kill the rest of them. <laughs> oh no. You hear Wu's voice in your mind. Wu, you should send your observer. <laughs> but I wouldn't because I'm not worried about this situation. It wouldn't be right. But you need tower tube info. Oh, I got pretty good, bro. Uh oh. You, it, only if Leaf says something. That's the only way. The only way I would do it. Okay. It sounds like a fight has broken out. Jong, as your handler, you have the you you just have to say I need backup and we'll come. Obviously, you're not going to do that, but the choice is ultimately yours. I can handle. <laughs> just got to roll so much initiative. <laughs> <laughs> I'll be here. Oh, while the DM rolls like initiative for like nine, PC and like nine NPCs. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, oh, just again. Uh, One roll for me. What was your initiative, John? Mine was 19. Ooh. 19. Yeah, we up there. So, can you tell me how you're like starting this? You're not going uh, first, but like, okay. how are you starting initiative? I'm going to draw my weapon. I guess, yeah, because I'm not going first, so. 
You're just drawing your weapon. Okay. Yeah, draw my sword. Let me just go ahead and give. Uh, oh yeah, 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 I forgot we level twenty. Okay. Oh, I forgot we got the three cannon fodder dudes back here. Oh, so the, the first thing that happens is I mean, uh, <coughs> valuable uh, allies. As soon as you draw your sword, this person throws a spear at you. Whoa! Uh, b -b -b 15. Does a 15 hit? Uh, hold on, I got my character sheet. That's the spell DC, right? Uh, no, it's free uh, AC. Uh oh. My bad, my bad, my bad. You're good. What was it, 15? Yeah. It just barely hits. No! Uh, you take three damage as it, like, scrapes you, flying by you. Okay, you're losing your head first. Got it. <laughs> and then Min says, he starts jamming out to some music. I'm the king of the tower! Yeah! <laughs> it's and, uh, you, know, you know what's so funny about Min? He has the... Really he looks and has the color scheme of Dimitri from Fire Emblem. <laughs> oh, <no. laughs> so I'm just imagining Dimitri damaging Dimitri to enter the tower. <laughs> I'm sorry to interrupt. You're I just good. that's what I thought though. <laughs> he, he has two <laughs> He has two lighthouses that move forward and they start uh, they create this barrier around uh, Sir Henry. But Sir Henry draws his sword and choop, choop, Slices through the barrier, and he looks at you, Jong, and gives you a smirk. Ooh, and Min wait. says, "Okay, this is bad." All right, wait, now he, it's your turn, Jong. He sliced through the barriers, but the lighthouses are still surrounding him. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see here. All right. I don't know uh, if I would need to make like a specific roll for this, but. Oh, actually. Okay. Sir Henry if I... is blocking the way, by the way. What? Henry is blocking the way. Like, um, it's a pretty narrow corridor. So. So you're saying, like, I wouldn't be able to hit the other three right. until I get. Okay. But the lighthouses are all surrounding him, yeah. right? Mm -hmm. Okay. If I fire deadly lightning into the lighthouses, can I use the lighthouses to, like, increase the output of the attack? You can try. It might be difficult, though, because uh, you and Min aren't in sync. Right. It would require some action on Min's part. Okay. Well, I mean, what? Uh, what do we just have to make some rolls? Like him and I? You'd have to make, like, an extra roll, probably. Uh... Otherwise, you'd probably do damage him, to the White House. What was that, Woop? said it might have helped if you respected him, but now you're probably out of sync. That's too high right. a price to pay. Um... Nah, fuck it. We'll just. Well, okay. No, no, no. Never mind. Okay. All right. Yeah, I'm gonna use. I can't stop thinking of Dimitri now. I look at Min. <laughs> <laughs> He's doing the pose too. <laughs> <laughs> it's like idle pose. All right. I'm gonna use deadly lightning. Uh, at who? At Henry. Okay. He has to make a saving throw. Can you remind me what exactly? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Just give me. What, da, 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 da. It is a. Dex saving throw. He failed! Oh, oh love to see it. Love to see it. Alright, what is it? It is 3d4. Wait, is this the, is, is this the upgraded? Oh. Like, for, because I thought. Sure. I think this was one of the attacks I upgraded. You need to upgrade it yourself uh, if it's not. Okay. Yeah, well, yeah, I just wanted to make 20 sure. 20 of damage. <laughs> yeah, right, right, right. That was <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Uh, I think it was D100. I'm looking at the level up sheets, and I don't see it. Oh, God, then maybe it wasn't. No, I think I, I, yeah, 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 never mind. That was last, uh, last level up. Okay, cool, cool. So three, D4. Oh, no, you're right. Yeah, it was, uh. Oh, was right? Your sixth floor level up, you add intelligence to that. Oh. 3D4 plus intelligence. Word. Let's do it. Right. Okay, go for it. Okay. 
Okay. Plus intelligence. Scroll all the way up here. Mm. Oof, 16. You shoot out the bang of lightning, and Henry confidently tries to block it, and the lightning just sizzles up his body. <laughs> Nerve. Expose him. Expose him. Uh, what are you standing there for? Get him! And then uh, Beryl says, um, if you all could excuse me, I can't seem to get through. <laughs> and that's his turn. Uh, and then we have uh, this person run up. Sir Henry, I'll handle this. And he puts, he uses his turn to like pull Henry back and steps in front of him. I can hit you too. It's now Dan's turn. He's going to try to scramble up the cliff. He tries, but he fails. Damn. Okay. Now it's this person's turn, who moves over and generates a bang and fires it at you. Make an intelligence saving throw. Oh, yes, that's right. <laughs> uh, hmm. And actually, hold on, there's a little thing, right? Wait, wait, yeah, because wasn't... Yeah, 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 hold yeah, on. Yeah, 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 hold I on. I know what you're I thinking have, of. I have I think a thing. Is, let me check. This would be really cool. Um, where is it? Okay. It is bang knowledge. In addition, if you're being attacked by a bang attack, you may use your reaction to summon your own bang to protect you. Make an intelligent saving throw for each bang you are attempting to block. Each success completely nullifies the damage. So make an intelligent saving throw. But, uh, all right, what do we got here? What do we got here? Oh, I'm getting pretty busted out here. That's going to be the plus 14, 14. Okay. So she fires one bang off at you and then she fires another one. But because of your bang knowledge, uh, you're able to easily block both bangs. Try harder than that, sister. Okay. I keep throwing my dice around. <laughs> I just, it just keeps going everywhere. Give me one sec. Yeah. He's getting the way to dice chat, the, just uh, watch. I had the handy dandy thing Amy got me. I should have been using this from the first place. It'll keep the dice contained. It is Sir Henry's turn. Mm -hmm. It's okay, it's okay, it's okay. He runs behind the other two. That. And he starts glugging a potion. Oh, this man. This dude straight out of Rowan's handbook. You know what? You Jeez. know what though? That's all right. Because once he's out of potions and I got him on his knees, it don't even matter. Let him drink all the potions he wants. Oh, really? I got a potion for him, don't worry. <laughs> <laughs> uh, he can he be with that subject. He throws the crystal to the side and it shatters. You're gonna pay for that one. Okay, it is now Leaf's turn. Let me uh, make sure. Wait, wait, before she goes, I'm going to tell Leaf to go after the guy that was trying to go up the cliff, but failed. No, that's on, that was your guy, your ally. All right, never mind then. Do what you want. <laughs> Sorry, <Dan>? no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Leaf, do whatever comes natural to you. <laughs> Leaf uh, starts summoning vines underneath this person that stepped in front of you. Uh... And uh, they work. The vines crawl up the body, and these vines look so much thicker and stronger than you saw before, and uh, they pierce into this person's flesh. Let's go. Okay. Ah! What? What is this? And they can't move. They're struggling to break free. Okay. It's, it's the spear bearer's turn who pulls out another spear, which they throw at you. And oh god. The spear hits uh, the person who's bound up in the vines. So that's oh, cool. Oh, love to see <laughs> the uncoordination. Yes, yes. Just Matter of fact, everybody getting a single foul line in front of this dude. <laughs> they, uh, this person screams. <laughs> okay, it's Min's turn. Whew, let's try this again. Come on, lighthouses. And get my signal throw here. Disadvantage. The lighthouses don't seem to work on the person standing in front of you. Oh, man. You son of a bitch. 
Sorry, let me change the track. Uh, diff different song, different song. The track's right. not the problem. It's your turn, John. Um, I'm going to show. Keep clicking past the sheet. All right, I'm going to use Light Sparker on my sword. And okay. then I'm going to... Do I get do I get any like like uh I don't know like advantages or something against the guy in front of me because he's he's yep. restricted yeah, yeah, or restrained? It, it, for um anything that requires like an attack roll, you have advantage. Oh word. Alright, then we're gonna use blade style somersault. Uh okay. Go ahead and make that roll twice. Alright, so you just recently attack roll? you increased this ability, this technique. I did. But I don't Although think it applies here really. Yeah, that was just the distance of it, right, so right. It's fine. He's like right in front of me. Let's go ahead and make that roll. That's gonna be fourteen. Yeah, that hits. Oh. Was that you roll twice? Oh, no, no, you no, might no, as well. No, just you're right. You're right. Yeah, you're right. You're right. You're right. Ooh, sixteen. Yeah, that hits. Go ahead and roll for damage. All right. What is this? Two d six. Plus, that's gonna be two. Oh, hold on! I have to. Add I always forget to add light sparker. Uh, light sparker is one d six. Yes. Fifteen points of damage. Let's go. Do you want to kill this person? I do. Oh, no! I do. I want to take his head clean off. So Zhang, with the with the lightning on his sword, he stands there holding the sword back in a stance, and then in an incredibly swift motion, like most people don't even, like they blink and it happens, but he swings the sword and this guy's head just comes clean off. Blood just starts spurting from his body, just the whole and thing then, is shivering with electricity. And then as Zhang is standing there, he just points his sword right at Henry. Henry screams, BULLCIFER! No! He was my childhood friend, you son of a bitch! And then Beryl says, Hey, Gave you a I, chance, Henry. Can I please come through? Uh, and that's his turn. Um, <laughs> Dan. <laughs> poor guy, he's trying to be so polite. The dude in the back, he's like, um, excuse me, guy, can I? Oh, fuck. <laughs> can, can someone help me through here? <laughs> Dan tries to scramble up the cliff and fails again. He just keeps sliding down. Dan, dude, come on. <laughs> you know what, guys? Like, just perform. go back to the base. <laughs> we should have just said jog and leave. Yeah, so like, like leave and I got this, bro. Go ahead and, and, and lick, just, I don't know, do something. <laughs> All right. You're embarrassing person, the squad out here. <laughs> when that head goes flying, it lands next to this person, who's the young girl. Not, I mean, you know, the young adult. And she starts backing away. And she throws on her Shinsu wand and holds up her hands. <laughs> and she puts them behind her head. And then Henry says, Lily, don't you dare abandon me! Oh, it looks like your allies aren't as loyal as you thought, Henry. It's a shame. It's fine. Crystal? No, it's really not. Mirror. You have my back, right? Crystal looks over at him. And drops her spear. He drops his sword. It's yours. It's yours. I'll do whatever you want. You can ransom me for millions and billions and trillions of points if you want. I, I give up. Zhang slowly walks over. Zhang? Zhang? What? We shouldn't kill him. Why? Because he's obviously someone important. We could... We could... We get a lot of points if he's alive. Is that what you care about, Leaf? Given points? Up. We shouldn't kill them. They've, they've thrown down. He threw down his. Leaf, sword. they're the enemy. I don't know how many times I have to tell you this. No, killing, killing is only right when you have to, and you don't have to kill him.
No, Jong, don't, please! Stop! And she's she's trying to walk in front of you. Stop! Stop! Leaf, get out of here. Jong, don't do this. Leaf. Leaf. Hold on, hold on. The young girl has a point. Min walks forward. We just wanted the campsite. No more unnecessary blood being spilled. Min, do not test me. We should decide this together. Please. Sir Henry looks up at you. I just want to see her face one more time. My beloved. My beloved you think I give a damn about your beloved? Please. I'll become your servant, your slave. I'll, I'll do anything you want. John gets down on one knee, looking at Henry. I'm assuming he's like on his knee, like he's yeah. on the ground, right? Mm -hmm. Please, please, please. I only climbed the tower so I could find her. That's a, that, that's it. And bring her home. And again, in one swift motion, Jong stabs Henry right in the throat. And what use do I have for something like that? You shouldn't have fucked with me, Henry. And he pulls the sword out and then just like flicks the blade, spilling the, the blood on the floor. Okay, blood just starts pouring from his neck as his body hits the floor. And then he looks- Change your affiliation. And then Zhang just it's looks so at the other idea. two. <laughs> yep. <laughs> he looks at the other two. You guys want to be next? Um, the one with the spear is just not saying anything, but then the the one with the Shinsu says, no, 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 please. You know where the exit is? Yeah. So use it. <laughs> and they both run out of the area. I was muted. Do we clock this? At this point, do we hear the fight and everything? No, I would say not. Okay. All right. I didn't know how close we were. And then Zhang slowly just puts his sword back into his sheath. There. Problem solved. I'll be at the base if you need me. And he slowly just starts to make his way. Zhang? He stops. She's not, like, crying or anything, but you can tell she's upset with you. That wasn't Leave. Right. That wasn't right. What wasn't right? <laughs> you... And she just... Ex expresses in frustration, grunts, and then she storms out of the area. Was it? Oh, <sighs> hey, uh, was that a successful operation? I don't want to talk right now, Damien. All right. <laughs> Jean just comes back in. Right Jean comes back in, looking very nonchalant, but, like, there is blood on his clothes. Ah, welcome home. Successful mission? Yeah, I'd say so. Oh, delightful. I won't ask about the details. I just like the idea of Damien like peering down from the ledge. <laughs> talking to people like <laughs> 10 feet up. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, Eden and Wu, you see Jong enter. No, I was asleep at the oh, throne. Okay. Sorry, yeah. sorry. <laughs> I, don't know, I, I tried to move it on Discord too. <laughs> Wait, sorry, I'll, put you, I'll put you at the front. There you go. Wouldn't want to wake Wu up for this. <laughs> No, I mean, you could wake me up. I'm just saying that's the, the state of affairs. No, I got you. I got you. Do I clock at your bloody? Yeah, I mean, his, his clothes are visibly like the blood all over. Okay. <sighs> what happened? And where's Leaf? Uh, well, what happened was a fight broke out, and I won. And uh, Leaf got upset about it. Why would Leaf get upset? Tong just stares at Eden. What do you think? Just kind of like gives him a once over. Looks over at Victor. I'll leave you to handle this. I'm going to go find Leaf. Uh, yeah, okay. Sure. Oh, she, oh she going out, are we? Oh, well, have a good trip. <laughs> she stops and looks up at Damien. Are you the watchman on the wall now? Like... Oh, yeah, yeah. I'm like the gatekeeper, you know? I, I, I keep people out. Right. 
Okay. I think I'm doing a pretty good job, except no one wants to talk to me, which is a little lonely, but you know. Hey, I'm talking to you. Oh, that's true. You're the first person to really stop. Well, I mean, actually, Jong stopped too, but you know. (laughs) You seem to be a bit preoccupied. Was he covered in ketchup? He must have had a really messy meal. Damien, that was not ketchup. Oh. Sounds like he killed some people, and Leaf is upset, and I don't know where she went, so I'm going to go find her. Oh, you know, she was quite bloody as well. I just assumed they were like doing potato, uh, like picking tomatoes or something. Anyways, you should go find her. She went that way. Damien, I know you're deflecting this right now. What? Wait, I'm not. Wait. Wait, what's up? Just make sure to ask people three questions before they enter. Okay. Oh, I, I, I like, I'm not letting anyone in that I don't know. Right. Just. Watch out. Hey, hey, he runs off. Everything okay? Maybe it walks up. Oh, oh. <laughs> thanks for the help, guys. The camp is awesome. Oh, yeah, yeah, of course. You know, we, we fulfilled our end of the bargain, you know. Yes. Just stay yes. safe out there, you know. Like, I've, you know, I've got these potions here, you know, if you want to, like. Oh, okay. Sounds yeah. rad, bro. Oh, no. I mean, like, did you get hurt, though? I mean, you, it really. No, only... no. Your buddy with the blue hair, he popped off, dude. Oh. He beheaded that guy in one clean stroke. It was pretty... Or he, he beheaded the guy, and then he, like, oh, stabbed another guy in the throat. Blood was everywhere. It was gnarly. Wow. You know, I'm putting two and two together, and wow, that is that is very messed up. So, but, you know, enjoy, enjoy your new base, though. Um, I, I'm not going to help you clean up the, the mess, though. Okay, Just, no worries. That's, that's on you. That's, you know... See ya! Oh, and listen to King. He's really good. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah I, I, I was just going to do that. <laughs> I'm not going to do that. <laughs> <laughs> Meanwhile, uh, Victor, so. What's up? Did you have fun? Honestly, it was nice to stretch my legs a little bit. Yeah, yeah, I don't blame you. It's been a while since I've had some action like that, but good job securing the base. Yeah, I don't know why these people are getting all worked up over. I mean, is killing people suddenly illegal in the tower? No, no, we've done it a lot of times throughout the climb. Leaf's just a kid. She's getting used to it is all. Well, everyone has to grow up sometime. Yeah, yeah, I agree. I agree. No, <laughs> oh, will you up? What time? Time? Oh, it's like uh, three o'clock. Hmm. Y'all got food? Uh, you know, that's a good question. Are they gonna feed us? Or I kind of feel like this is gonna have to be a make our own food situation. Yeah, when has anybody ever fed us for free? Gee, there was that time you never mind. By the way, Josh, Josh was there, you was back? There any, was there any reason that Leaf was so upset? What do you mean Leaf was upset? Where's Leaf? Look, I went into the other base to help that team that we're supposed to be working with, who, by the way, I'd like to point out, were absolutely useless, like I called. And I handled the problem, and I killed some people, and Leaf was upset about it. Wait, but Leaf Leaf has seen us kill people before. That doesn't sound like a problem to me. Leaf is not someone to overreact, Jong. Here's someone to downplay the situation. I need more detail than that. Detail? Uh, forget the forget the team loud and proud dudes. What exactly happened when you got there? The base is secure, I take it. Yeah, totally secure. Absolutely secure. Oh, oh you and mean the other base. Oh, whoops. Where is did that... Where's Damien? Don't worry, oh, I'm buddy. over here! I, just I can hear your whole up. conversation. I just gave him a thumbs up from across the way. Oh, yeah, thank you. That's the, I really like that. I appreciate the thumbs up. That means I'm doing a good job, right? Always. Well, not to interject in your conversation, but I think it would only be a problem if they surrendered, maybe. Hey, Damien, how about you go back to doing whatever it was you were doing, quietly? I mean, uh, I'm always doing wait, that. Wait, wait, wait. Quietly. They didn't surrender, oh, though, obviously. Let me get this straight. Leaf was unharmed. That's all I care about. Yeah, of course. And you took the base. And you mm-hmm. killed the other team. Am I following the situation correctly? Well, they most of them ran away. Now, when you say they surrendered, 
What do you mean by that exactly? I mean, they got down on their knees and dropped their weapons. And you let them leave? Well, some of them. So you killed unarmed people? Well, they weren't unarmed, they just weren't holding their weapons. Look, we'll... I'm here to lecture you on the morality of killing. As a matter of fact, I don't really care. I just want to understand the situation. Yeah, I agree. I mean, there was it's not really good like reason. you. There's a good Look, reason. This is all sure. that there is to understand. When you get into a fight, it's you or the other guy. Plain and simple. If you draw your weapon against me, you're telling me that you're okay with forfeiting your own life. Plain and simple. There are no freebies yeah. in the tower. There's no favors. People and don't I just flash a smile. And, and, I, and, I, and I approach him and I just kind of like look at his demeanor. I'm like, you know that I agree with you. I'm not going to tell you that you're wrong. But you seem a little off, buddy. For people that mean absolutely nothing to you, for you to not just let them go, it's a little unusual, don't you think? And John kind of takes a moment to like think about it. Actually, well, I don't know. Lately, I've just been feeling like I want to fight more. Just feels good. It's kind of hard to explain. Is it the fighting that feels good, or is it the killing that feels good? John immediately looks up at Wu. I don't know. I just kind of pat him on the shoulder. Well, I think you should think about it. But like I always told you, I'm here for you regardless of what you decide to do. And I'm not about to tell you how to live your life. Or, you know, beheading a few people here and there. Eh, not the worst thing that could possibly happen. Who was the poor fool anyway? Uh, man, what was his name? Started with a Harold. I want to say Harold. Is that annoying, dude, from the bar? Oh, the knight, annoying, yeah. constantly talking about his betrothed. I was gonna kill him myself. Honestly, you did me a favor. Oh, wait a minute. That reminds me. Who was that? girl that we met on the second floor the one in armor she had purple hair you mean lady lake I, I thought i told you we don't bring her up unless expressly told that we need to discuss it well i kind of think we need to discuss it because um that dude who i killed was dating her i think i dropped my gourd and like a little bit of alcohol spills out of it uh and I'm just looking at you like blank eyed, not saying anything with my mouth kind of open. Uh, whoa, well, you good? <clears throat> no, it couldn't be. He said, he said, he said her name was. Oh, Freo. I, I don't even. No, it's not true. What are you talking about? Whoa, Lake whoa. will never be seen with such a fool like him. And then Jean grabs Wu's shoulders. Whoa. It doesn't matter because he's 100% dead. So, problem solved. And he says back You down. didn't get any information before you killed him? Information? Like what? <laughs> you left some of his teammates ar alive, right? That's what you said? Uh, yeah. Some of them ran away. I'll be back. Okay. Uh, okay. Wait, wait, wait it's, it's okay, Wu. It's okay. I mean, J Jong's right. I'm not even and listening. Gotta... I'm gone. I'm okay. gone. I was going to say he has a chance at being her Victor, second I... friend, but okay. I think it's best to just leave him to do his Wu no, stuff. No, but, but seriously, are you okay? Actually. <laughs> Victor. What I'm about to tell you. Stays between you and me. I'm honored. I am. Sorry. That fight. Lately, I mean, the past couple floors. I mean, I was trained by a samurai. 
I know how to swing a sword like I can swing my own arm, but lately fighting is just easier. It's, dare I say, kind of fun. So yeah, I'm doing pretty good. Well, all things considered. That isn't great. Yeah, okay, so look, look, look. I mean, it's, I... um, I don't want, I, you're more than, I, to be honest, it's good that you're getting better at combat and you're feeling more comfortable with it and all, because uh, I could care less that you killed a guy. Okay, it doesn't matter to me. It's, it, it bothers me when people act like it's a big deal. What I think is a bit of a concern is that you might let it uh, overpower who you are. A little bit, because that's kind of a big change, don't you think? A little bit? Is that really Overpower. you? I don't know. Overpower who I am. Like you've and always don't... you've always been a bit of a a bit of a you know, you, you've always you've always it's not it's not that you've never killed people before, but it just feels like a bit of a sharp extreme, I guess. That you are liking it, enjoying it. That might be a little bit too much. Maybe. Considering you're on a team, and sometimes we need to keep people alive, and sometimes the situation is more complicated than just killing them. Just asking questions. And then Zhang stands up, and he puts a hand on Victor's shoulder. Who am I? I'm a coon. Look, I don't have time for all of this. He said, she said, let's keep people alive, let's negotiate. If you guys want to do that, that's fine. Right now, right here, I'm just worried about getting stronger in whatever form that takes. Wait, 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 wait. Is this why you wanted to enter the labyrinth so bad? What? This, this feeling of like, I gotta keep killing, I gotta keep getting strong. Is this what, was it gonna sate your appetite? Is that what's going on? What? No, I'm just, no, that- Then why'd you want to go in that, so bad? That was just that a was tactical very unlike thing. You. I just, I just assumed uh -huh. that I'd have the best advantage, that's all. Okay. Just asking questions. I'm here if you want to ever talk, man. And uh, to be honest, I'm happy to hear that you're uh, embracing your coon side a little bit. Because uh, I think it's healthy. I'm not denying who you are. And then John kind of looks down at his hand as he summons like a small current of lightning. You know what, Victor? You might be right. You might be right. Okay, we're gonna cut to Eden. Yeah. So you ran, you ran west to the ring. Yes. Okay. Trying to find little leaf. Yeah, it's it, you easily find her. She's just standing beside the entrance to the labyrinth. This whole middle area is basically empty. Okay. Um, and you just see her standing there, kind of walking back and forth in front of the entrance to the cave. Hey. I can't believe him. I can't believe it. I can't believe he would... He, 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 there was so much... Hey, hey, he was just, engaged, and it just doesn't feel right. Like, there's one thing to kill somebody who's trying to kill us, but he wasn't trying to kill us. Ugh, I don't know. He just sits down next to her, lets her pace it off. So, Jean killed in cold blood, is what you're saying. <clears throat> he enjoyed it, Eden. He did it just because he wanted to. There was no reason to. He does not like to you. that. Is he? Um. Noticed a shift recently. Didn't think it was that far, but maybe I was wrong. You see what I mean, right? If they give up, why kill them? Two arguments can be made. One is, I agree with you. If they surrender, then should have let them go. 
Considering Zhang's background and what I know about him, sometimes letting those people go means they'll come back and get you. I don't- This guy was weak. He wasn't even a threat. Yeah. I don't know. Maybe he's right. Maybe I'm I... just not strong enough to accept that. No, Leaf, it's... Besides Brack, you're... Well, I shouldn't say besides Brack. He's in the Syndicate. You're probably the purest one of us here. And I... Shouldn't be. I can't be. Why? Because I'll die if I am. I've realized that now. After train... Um... <clears throat> I've just huh? realized it. Nothing. I've realized that that's what's important. I, and I understand that, killing? but it's just hard. Leaf, Leaf, you think what? killing people is important? No, but hard, sometimes you have to harden your heart and accept that that's the way it is. And I know that. But this just didn't feel right to me. This was too far. Okay. Well, I agree it's good to have moral boundaries. And this tower is very unforgiving, so I think your purity is unique and special. And, you know, there's a case to be made for people like you. Do you think there was ever such a thing as a pure ranker? Um, I don't Someone know. Someone who would hesitate to kill? I'm not sure, honestly. Yeah, me neither. It's fine. I just... I really didn't want him to kill him. He was engaged. Now his future wife is going to be missing him? No, she won't. <laughs> Dang it. <laughs> I well... Just, it's just sad, well, here's I guess. I mean, we don't know the nature of the relationship. It could be a, an arranged marriage, a forced marriage. No, I know. I just, just don't listen to me. I'm fine, Eden, really. No. I'll head back to the camp. It's fine. Look, Leaf, I told you something in Artlem. That was a long time ago. But remember I said I didn't want you to ever be put in that position again? And you just were. Of course, I'm going to come check on you and make sure you're okay. I'm okay. Because it happened again. Eden, I'm not a child anymore, like I was in Arlo. You know how many times I've heard that phrase. No, but it's, it's true. <laughs> of course it is. Sorry. There's nothing to be sorry about. It just feels like I'm balancing, I guess. Balancing what? I don't know. I gotta think about it more. But okay. Thanks, Eden. Um, at this point, Wu, I'm gonna say you burst into the clearing looking for Sir Henry's teammates. Burst into where? The 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 center ring area. Oh, no, I was going to uh, Camp 3. Oh, you're going to Camp 3? I'm not really looking for the teammates. I'm actually going okay. to talk gotcha, to them. Got you, got you, got yeah. you. I don't really care about the teammates. The teammates can't tell me anything. I know that. Okay, okay. You make your way to Camp 3 then, and uh, you see the three members of Team Loud and Proud, and you see the, the a headless body, and then you see Sir Henry's lifeless corpse with his eyes just wide, staring up at the sky, and just a huge gash in his throat. Slowly walk over. Wait, is Bello still in the way? No, he's not. Barrel's. Yeah, he's good. Barrel, whatever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> walk over slowly. Look down at Hugo's decapitated. Whoa, corner. whoa, whoa! Not Hugo. Uh, for a sec. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, that oh, might be the worst slip I've ever had. <laughs> oh no! Oh man! That's, yeah, what, I, what I thought about when I said, it, I was like, hold on. <laughs> <laughs> that's, 
That's disrespectful. I'm sorry. Hugo. More importantly, it's that and Hugo is on Wu's mind. <laughs> but uh, no, Henry's decapitated a corpse, and I will uh, respectfully close the eyes on that. Okay. And then I kick the body in the shin. Oh my gosh! Um, what, what kind of kick we talking? We just we, a light one, just, just a light one, just a little tap, you know. Okay, so we ain't talking about like the the queen of the dam. Appreciate your prey stomp. No, just, uh, <laughs> it's more so like one of those things where it's like, why am I pitying somebody I wanted so badly to hit in the face a little while ago, kind of thing. But I do. Sure. And then uh, can I investigate the surrounding area? Yeah, roll investigation. And barrels there. Uh, hey, what, what's what's going on? And I'm just like, shh, shh, shh. Oh, oh. that's a sixteen plus whatever thing. Plus one seventeen. Sixteen plus one. Wait a sec. Uh, okay. So yeah, you see the two corpses. Obviously, you see that there's blood all over the floor. There was a fight here. You've noticed that the phone has been claimed by Team Loud and Proud. So this is officially now their campsite. And uh, are you looting Sir Henry? Uh, yes, and I am also looking for his pocket specifically, but I will take whatever he has on him. <laughs> okay. Um, I'm going to say it's... The pocket was in invisible mode. It's hard to find at the moment. Maybe if you had more time... Um, if you want to take the time, you can really try to figure that out. But... No, I have minions for that. Uh... Actually, oh, okay. <laughs> what, what was I, <laughs> I was going to say you can make an observer roll to see if you can oh, like, into his pocket. I'll do it if it'll make it faster. Okay. Uh, I don't think that's going to cut it, but, you know, uh, 11? Yeah, right now it's 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 a little bit... Well, that's what, no, don't worry about it. What, what else he, does he have on his person? He has a little <laughs> locket in his pocket. And when you open it up, you see Lady Lake's face. But she, it's just her head, but you, she's wearing a dress. And her hair is done up very fancy with pins and various things in the hair. And she's looking very straight. Just completely poker face. It's Photoshop. I don't say anything, I just close it, put that in my pocket, and I turn to Min and the rest of them. You guys, where's the rest of your team? They're, they're on their way, they'll be here soon. Good, good, it seems like you're all set up here. You don't Maybe. need to worry about us, we handle them just fine. Really? Because from what I heard, you guys didn't really do anything. But, you know, maybe next time you'll do, it, you'll do more work. It's not our fault you all wouldn't get out of the way. Oh, that's excuse, sure. Uh, okay, okay, big guy. Uh, anyway, I'm gonna need you guys to do me a favor. Mm -hmm. Headless man over there had a pocket in his hand before he died. I'm sure you saw it. Headless man? You mean this guy over here? Yes, that guy over there. Okay. What do you want us to do? Can't find it, and I don't have the time to linger around here and look for it. So, as you guys set up your lovely little abode for the next seven days, Find me the pocket. The first one to bring me the pocket gets a reward. Oh, uh, okay. Sounds good. All right. And if it takes longer than 12 hours, somebody's losing a finger. Whoa, 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 whoa. Min says that, but we're teammates. No. He's joking, my, everybody. It's fine. You're my it's brother's fine. teammate. You trust him, don't you? Oh, with our lives. Ask him he's about in there, me. He's in there kicking ass right as we speak. All right, ask him about me. I'm sure he'll tell you. I'm mm. definitely not joking. Now get on it. You got 12 hours. Damn, the hindsight. <laughs> <laughs> they just don't say anything as you walk out. Only they know. Uh, All right. They mean when you cut back to me. Sure, we're, we're going to cut uh, to break I, here. I was going to hop. Cheesed. I was going to hop down and ask a question. Oh, yeah. Oh, we'll, oh, we'll, we'll, yeah. Do we'll do that. So? What did it look like? Did it seem like the ends justified the means? It looked like there's no way that that man was worth Jong's time. And based off of what I saw there, it's not that enough. 
It's like oh. he enjoyed it almost. And that worries me. You don't think it was for the greater good? Hey, man, what have we ever done that's for the greater good? <laughs> that's too bad, honestly. Now, if you want to get us on that program, good luck. I'll, I'll try my best to help. But look, realistically, what I'm saying is it's still unlike John. It's not the fact that he killed him. It's, actually, it is the fact that he killed him. John doesn't kill people that are worthless. There was no goal to be had there. And it's not like it was an interesting fight. But what's done is done. Just keep an eye on them, all right? Well, that is currently what I'm up to. The goings and comings of this area. You know you can join us in the camp anytime you want. I'm going to make some food soon. Oh, no, no. I I prefer the solitude. Maybe we should work on negotiating with the the team on Team 2. Oh, don't worry. I got plans for them tomorrow. Well, have a good rest then. I'll keep watch. I'll let you know when Leaf comes back. All right. Thanks, buddy. Okay. We're going to cut to Brack. Hedge okay. going to be heated. <clears throat> Hedge? Yeah, Hedge was a part of that team, right? Uh, Sir Henry's team, right? Nope. Who I was it? I think it was Misuk. It was Misuk. Ah. Oh, uh, was it? Bro. Oh, damn, man. She ain't gonna care. All right, let's go. <laughs> <laughs> what a bet. How do you know? <laughs> Look, what's he, he got? So well. <laughs> <laughs> okay, the rest of this area is pretty straightforward. I'll just go ahead and reveal. You've been traveling for a little while at this point. A lot of time is passing. Sorry, it's for some reason not letting me reveal. There we go. A lot of time is passing. The labyrinth continues to extend and extend. Misa comments, it's a good thing we have our pockets, otherwise it'd be hard to tell time. Uh, Priestess, would you mind? Or, never mind. I got this. I learned this. Pocket! Time! 4 p.m. is what it says. All right. Let's travel for another five hours. And then around nine-ish, I say we rest. What do you guys think? I agree, says Hedge. Yeah, 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 yeah. I can rest my hand a little bit more. Sorry. Yeah. Okay. All right. All right. Maybe then we could share a little bit more. Learn a little bit more about each other. Right, Big H? He doesn't say anything. Could have nodded something at least. Still my guy though. Uh, right or left, or a straight forward or left, or to the right. All right. Brock would like to try to sense again. Okay. Set yeah, arcane, right? Yeah, kind of. I don't remember my. I don't think my arcana is that high. <laughs> Oh, no, let me it should be sure. intelligence, but if you're proficient, you get also plus three. Arcana, Arcana, intelligence. Uh, that's an eight. It don't even matter. <laughs> An eight? Okay. Yeah. Perfect. Yeah, you're struggling to see. Hugo oh, listens, but even after listening... He seems to frown straight ahead. Straight ahead, he frowns? Okay. All right. He starts I, getting up. By the grimacing look on your face and by the fact that you didn't even say anything, Big H, I take it you want to go this way. He nods. Uh, everyone stand formation behind me and Big H. We shouldn't even take a look. All right, sounds good. I think we... Uh, yeah. Let's just see what's up here real quick. You head further upward, continues to expand. 
the cave, it looks so similar after all these hours of walking. It's just starting to... All the paths, all the twists are starting to merge in your mind a little bit. But you're able to shake it off. <sighs> this is becoming tiresome. Where does it end? You notice that to your right, I don't have it here. I forgot to put it here, but there's a chest right here. A chest? Yep. <sighs> okay. If what happened last time to, uh, to our super bunny, it took his hand. I think we should approach these chests as a two man job. However, the corridor is narrow. I'll go and no, I'll check it. No, no, no. Allow me. Gambu walks forward. Oh, hold, hold up, 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 hold up. What are you doing? What's the matter? And you know, there's a big door blocking your way uh, forward. You should investigate that door, young man, and see if we can proceed. I got you. I was going to do that. Go ahead and go back over with the team, though. Allow me uh to open this. Hmm. Why do you want to open this door so much? I want to open the chest and make sure it's not dangerous. All right. All right. Brack backs off. He pokes it with his walking stick. And then he calmly opens it up. Reaches inside. And he pulls out the water looking substance thing. No, 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 no. It starts spinning around him. Oh, I, I nearly, f I had forgotten. I apologize. You didn't forget. I was worried that it would hurt our lady friend. It wasn't going to hurt her. Okay. Brock goes back over to the group real quick. All right. Something weird is going no, 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 Oh, hey there. Hey there. Hey, hey, how's it going, old man? Uh, we, we were just talking about, you know, strategizing to get the next item. No, don't, don't worry about it. It doesn't concern you. You you got one. See, look at it swirling around you. The woo. Ooh, yeah, 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 yeah. All right. Uh, I'm quite tired. If we could make camp soon, I would greatly appreciate it. Uh, but it's only four o'clock. Oh, you know how it is when you're old. Mm, my bones aren't as old as yours. <laughs> okay, um, let's. Big H, what you think? Should we find a nice little spot to 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 make camp? Not once for yes. Shake your head for no. He touches the door. God dang it! That's not an answer. All right. Um, is anyone else tired? And then a message appears on the door. God dang it, I ain't got time for this. Is anyone else tired? <laughs> Is anyone else tired? It seems that there's something written on the door. I know there's something written on the door. God dang it. We're losing order. We're losing order. We're losing order. This is how Leader felt. This is how Leader felt. This is how Leader felt. Okay. Um, all right, yep. read the message. Odd number minus letter equals even. Odd number minus 11 equals even. I have it on screen here. Odd number minus letter equals even. Oh. Yo. <laughs> That's so okay. easy. This is the easiest one you've Wasn't done. quite yeah. as difficult as you made it to be. <laughs> easiest one you've done. <sighs> Odd number minus letter equals even. 
Okay. What does that mean? Odd number minus letter equals even. Is there anything else? Nope. So, if it's an odd number, what would that mean? There are six of us, which is an even number, minus... Uh, I, think, I think you're overthinking it. No, 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 no. You're overthinking it. Now, <laughs> if there... <laughs> I don't know, but you're wrong. <laughs> Odd number minus letter equals even. Ah! ah. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Minus one equals even. Eight. So is the answer eight? Nothing happens. Is the answer nine? The door turns red. I believe we should think more carefully before giving our answer. Perhaps if I pray, pray first. Yes, pray to your god to have math problems solved. Ah! He listens to all of our troubles. So, odd number minus letter. So, there are six letters in letter. <laughs> There are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, nine letters, an odd number. If we don't count the space, if we count the space, there are 10. So since we need an even, that would be four. Or we could just minus all the letters, all the all the letters that are in odd number. The door is being even up. redder and more red. I didn't even give an answer. <laughs> We're discussing. <laughs> Why are you running, giving red? And I didn't even give an answer. Out of time. This could be a problem. Uh, we should just shout out a number then. Whatever we think it is. I think four. Four. The door loses all color. Well, gang, looks like we failed it. See, it's not my fault. You all should have. You all the smart ones. Look at you. All educated and whatnot. I thought you were. You, we trusted you to, to give the right answer, right? I mean, look at me. Look at you. Hugo at walks south and holds up his hand. And he pulls out his hammer. And then you hear. <laughs> huge footsteps coming from the east, the southeast. All right. Uh, it looks like that there. It looks like there's about to be something going on. A fight, perhaps? Everyone, assume formation. Do we really have to fight? We may or may not. If I'm not know. sure. I want uh, Hugo and uh, Brack to, like, go right here. Ooh. Ah, okay. Block both sides. Yeah. Just so that we can see and know when we need to get back. Because mm -hmm. I got a feeling the monster might be coming this way. Or well, at least from this direction. Hedge approaches behind you. Well, I didn't expect you to come here, but keep that, keep that, keep that spear ready. I'm a spear bear. It's my job. All right. Brack steps forward right here. See if he can hear like any sort of sound, like the sound getting closer to him. The sound appears to be getting closer and closer. And right when it's, you should hear another sound, it stops completely. Hmm. This is interesting. Hmm. 
Hmm. Big H. I was going to say before that, Big H, you sure there's... You said that there was something this way, right? He's just telling you to shush. Uh Oh. Roll persuasion. Perception. Perception. Yo, why am I rolling so many nines? Is this dice loaded or something? Sure. Is is there a 20 on there or is it just another nine? (laughs) Uh... Uh, you said persuade uh, perception uh, plus three twelve. Twelve. Yeah. You don't sense anything. Mm. But then you feel Hugo's hand on your shoulder. He's pretty tall. He's able to reach up, and he looks at you as serious as you've ever seen him, and he holds up his hand again. Couple minutes go by. And then you start to hear something, Breck. As if something is being dragged along the ground. Chains. Hmm. We both go back. And we tell Hedge to come back too. And we all reconvene nope, right here. Before you go back, he oh. grabs your shoulder again, holding you in place. Hmm. Don't speak. The chains get closer. And you see this monstrosity. It doesn't look quite like this. But it's eyeless. Drool just dripping from its teeth. Completely bald, slimy head extremely tall and thin, dragging chains along the ground with its arms that are drooping to the floor. It's making this gargling sound and it's sliding in front of you. And his grip on your shoulder is tight. Brack just stares him in his eyes. He has words for him after this thing passes. It stops right in front of you. Roll stealth. She already know I'm a fella. Like, I don't even know why we even roll. You might as well just get the battle music going. Clap of his ass cheeks. (laughs) (laughs) Uh, 14. Keeps on moving. And it vanishes around the corner. A couple minutes go by. And then Hugo lets go of you. Brack just uh, taps Hugo on his chest, points towards this direction, oh, uh... grabs Hedge as they're going back towards that direction, and then they they stop right here as he tries to wrangle everybody up. Wait, wait, wait. I'm sorry. Do that p- ping again? Uh, Right here. You're heading north over there? Yeah. Okay. Like back to the front of the door. They head over there. Hedge was dead silent as if he picked up the cue, but Mislik says, what happened? <clears throat> Hold up real quick, Priestess. So, Big H, pal, buddy, you know, good friend, trusting in you. You choose to talk at that point in time when you tell me don't talk? <laughs> All this time I'm trying to get more information out of you and you're just like mm-hmm. 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 when all I really needed from you was just a simple yes or no. But what we'll get back to that later. Um everyone, we're in danger. There is uh there is a slimy 
a slimy creature walking around and it it, it seems that? like it seems like it reacts to sound the partitioner mm. so it's real huh that is what god sent me in my vision ah yes well good news it's outside is terrible bad news it can hear us so um if you have any clickety clankities any sort of thickness he looks over at the priestess we might be in trouble I don't know what to say. This creature is beyond dangerous. And she starts muttering under her breath. Yes, I it think is. You hear really well. Yeah. Great. Apparently, apparently, Big H was able to pick up on that with his keen senses you want to want to like just you know explain to all of us how you're able to do that big h you know you can't you can't hide behind the veil that you can't talk because you talk to me you want to talk to the rest of us are you shy he walked forward to the door he walks forward to the door so you're just going to ignore me like i don't exist this is uh this is maddening okay you don't hear him say anything but you see his mouth move and then the door begins to open. What was the goddamn answer? He just looks at you. Why do you keep looking? Talk to me! He just walks forward. <laughs> Later, help. <laughs> I wish I could. <laughs> All right, we're going to cut back to the people outside the cave for uh, for a few minutes. I'm going to say the day is getting longer. Is there any other important things? What are the main important things you want to do during this like evening time? Uh, I mean, how much time do I have? A few hours. Uh, no, real world time. <laughs> no, sorry. Let me check. Uh, we'll spend like we another 20. hour. Yeah, yeah, we, we got another hour. So we'll 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 spend like 15 yes. minutes here. <laughs> My luck. Um, I don't need that long. And What'd then, you say? Like right here. Hmm? Am I allowed to dig a big hole like right here? <laughs> you, sure, go for it. You don't even have to roll. You're fine. Hey, all right, and I want to cover it up. I want to make. I want to make. I'm gonna make a little makeshift bridge. All right. Oh, you're gonna make a bridge? Okay, sure. A makeshift bridge made out of the wood that I got. Okay. Okay. So for that, then um, roll survival. All right. We're we're. This is the Damien Home Big Alone. money, big dumpy. Uh yeah. That's okay. Th that's 22. Oh my god. Twenty two. I um, further back though. Sorry. Uh, further back though. I don't want it to be too obvious. Oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. I want it also to be disguised. Like, right. You know, like a Team Rocket floor trap, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but, but you do realize that drunken woo will fall into this. <laughs> yeah, wooden bridge in the middle. Just walk in a straight line. You'll be good. Did you? That's just, asking a lot. You know of <laughs> <laughs> straight line. You'll be good. Exclamation <laughs> mark. <laughs> <laughs> all right so you're you're hammering away you're putting this thing together and uh yeah you do it very very deftly race velger's a big help uh, yeah and i'm putting spikes in there wood. something team rocket wouldn't do spikes at the bottom of the hole okay walk in a straight line <laughs> i'm just gonna jump it <laughs> yeah you can do it this is some right. MK type ish right here. <laughs> <laughs> the trap is set. <laughs> okay, perfect. And then, uh, anyone else? No. Evening time? Uh, I need to talk to Leaf. I need to talk to Jong in that order. Leaf, then Jong? You got it. Leaf does end up um, 
returning to the the campsite. Ah, oh, welcome back. Hey, Damien. Sorry Nothing if I was rude to you earlier. Oh, no, you're good. I uh, pieced together exactly what happened, and I've got to say, it was pretty messed up. No, it's fine. It's fine. Oh, it's it's fine? It didn't sound fine. It's fine. Oh, well, I mean, if you want to talk about it. Okay. I'm, I'm, I'm up here on my ledge. <laughs> Thanks. Only one, only one person has visited me on my ledge. <laughs> She's like laughing. You're making her laugh a little bit. Thanks, Damien. Whoa, whoa. What is this? Oh, walk in a straight line. You'll be <laughs> good. <laughs> okay. You need to walk in a straight line, though. You need to. <laughs> okay. Uh. Like, like straight line. Oh, you know, maybe we should put some tape or something, you know? I didn't think about that, Race Felger. Yeah. Okay, after, card, you, after, after you cross, put some tape down at the end. Huh? I don't have any tape. Oh. Ah, that's okay. I'll, we'll, we'll do that at night. Okay. Um, will you also make it back? Eden, you make it back. Everyone makes it back. Yeah. Myself. Hey, Will. Oh. You good? Yeah, I'm good. I figured you say that. I know you just got back. You hungry? No, I'm not hungry. Good, because we're not eating. We're going for a walk. Okay. Uh, where are we walking? Just come with me. Okay. Uh, even if we're not back in like 20 minutes, call me. Did you say that to Eden? Yeah, the way out. Okay. Oh well, have a good trip. Um, I think you're safe after twelve, or maybe not. I don't. I don't remember the rule again. Do keep an eye out. We're not out of the woods yet. Uh, as far as I'm concerned, this territory is ours. Everything the light touches. <laughs> Gosh dang it! <laughs> <laughs> All right, Leaf. Uh, Leaf goes with you. What do you want to talk about? So. Oh. I have my own understanding of what happened earlier, but you were actually with Jong, and I'm going to ask you a very serious question because I'm not here to make it seem like you're not big enough or emotionally capable of handling your own stuff. But I'm actually worried about Jong here, so I need you to be honest with me. What happened? When you say you're worried about him, she looks up. Even though I practically begged him not to, he stabbed, he stabbed a defenseless man in the throat just because he wanted to. Is that right? Is that what it's just like in the tower? Do we have to accept that? I thought... You understood my philosophy on life, Leaf. No, I... You can't really... Here, I'm gonna, I'm gonna tell this to you in the same way that my master told this to me. Right and wrong is a concept that fluctuates. It's a little malleable and it's 100% subjective. Depending on where you come from, who taught you, what you've experienced, all those things shape what your moral compass is. But like I've been trying to tell you, and I think what you're very important, uh, very focused on is that, yeah, this is the tower. And we all have our own dreams and ambitions that we're trying to make reality. So do you, right? Now you have to leverage that and weigh that versus what you're willing to do to accomplish those things. But don't change yourself just to reach that conclusion. At no point, as a matter of fact, that's why I sent you with John. I know you guys have been training. You, you knew? I mean, up until a couple months ago, John actually told me most things. But yeah, I know. What, did you think I'd be mad? No, no not, not, not mad, obviously. But if you don't have to tell me everything, I just want you to be true to yourself. And that means the self that you are now. You don't need to keep feeling like you need to change 
or that there's something missing from you. The way you are is why I see so much potential in you. You're the one that will keep us all grounded. It's that compassion and that desire to not go the extra mile when it's not necessary that makes you capable of achieving your dream. And to compromise that because you think that makes you seem weak, well, then you really would be. So, you're saying everyone has their own story? Their own it's exactly what I'm saying. Things, but I shouldn't change just to match that? No, as a matter of fact, if you believe in the way that you do things, then double down on it. As a matter of fact, you might reach somebody. You might change the way they look at things. You've already saved me a bunch of times and you don't even know it. I could, um... <laughs> save somebody. You Maybe already have. Be an inspiration for them. You already have. Thanks, Wu. So that'd be amazing to inspire somebody. The entire reason I even entered the tower was so I could do what my brother couldn't. But I don't think I could have even gathered that much courage if that lady hadn't talked to me. Which lady? Oh, someone who visited our village once. She was really pretty. And she said I had a lot of potential. I almost forgot about this. Can I say, you never told me about this before. Sorry. I didn't think it was that big a deal, but... Now that I'm thinking about it, I think she was the reason I even had the courage to enter the tower. Maybe I can be like that person to someone else. But I can't do that if I'm pretending to be someone else. Is that right? Ah, so lovely when your student actually understands exactly what you're saying. Now I know how much cover I cause my master. Oh well. Eh. I think I'm doing all right. You're doing great. And she gives you a hug. Thanks, Wu. Now, the next time something like that happens, and what you want is opposed to what Zhang wants, and you think you're right, stand up for your position, even if it means physically confronting him. Physic? <sighs> yeah. Yeah, you're right. I will. Now, what exactly happened when he when he stabbed him? Did you Did he seem like himself? Um No, he I forget what he said exactly, but he uh he said something like that's what you get. Um I don't know, it was just unnecessary and cruel. All right. Well, let's not worry about it too much for now. I'll keep an eye on him. You just remember what we talked about, and let's try and get through this test. Okay. we Will do. All right, head back to the camp. Uh -huh. Okay. Perfect. Be right behind you. Sure, sure, sure. Uh, Damien, you see them re-enter the camp? Oh, oh, you make, yeah, make sure you go in a straight line. Wait, uh, adjust yourself uh, right in the middle. Okay, got it. There you go. Yep. All right, and just go straight. Straight. Okay. Oh, I, oh, I forgot. To give you, oh, I forgot to give you. Can you come back? I forgot to give you the tape. I, I'd really rather not. Uh, but we'll you know, I, there. I. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, that's true. I was gonna say before I go back inside, I jump up here. Oh, okay. And yell at these people. <laughs> you guys got looking I, like four hours. I think. <laughs> At this point, it's uh, the whole team is there. Uh, you said 12 hours. And that was 
by my estimation, ah, no, you're right, you got about six hours left. Well, carry on. And then Butterscotch says, hey, well, what's going on? What's going on here? Something I should know about? Leader of the other team? First of all, I'm not the leader. Secondly, nobody told you would address me, Butterscotch. All right? Let your teammates fill you in. Min knows the deal. I'll be back. Okay. Yeah. Only Taki could lead such fools. Oh, 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 before you go. Oh, oh, here. Take this tape. Take this tape. And what am I doing with the tape? Oh, well, you got to walk in a straight line and then put put like a little white X on the end of the, the bridge. Nope. Not what? doing that. No, what? But <laughs> I... I... <laughs> I just look over to Ian's. <laughs> Ian, Ian's just sitting cross legged, just watching all this happen. <laughs> Do you need some help, Damien? Um, no. I, I'm, I'll just hope everyone remembers tomorrow. Oh, give me the tape. No, you don't have to jump down. Don't worry about it. It's fine. Give me the tape, Damien. <laughs> I um yeah 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 um yeah here here you go. That's my second roll of tape. I gave the first one to Wu. I'm down to my my reserve of of, of one left. Damien, I'm not going to use the whole roll for this. Don't oh, worry. Yeah, I, I mean, okay, all right. You know, but also don't make it too obvious. You know, just... she puts a little line at the start and then goes over and puts a little X at the end and then gives him the tape back and hops back up here. Oh, oh, delightful. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Is there anything everyone... I can do to help Damien? This is Victor. Uh, walk in a straight line. I heard you the first ten hundred times, man. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Just making sure because I don't want to. This is a pretty small camp, you. just so you know. I, I yeah, I, I I guess my voice carries pretty far. Yeah, so you can walk across. Okay. I mean, I don't. Do you need help? Huh? What? He hops up on top of the cliff. Oh, uh, well, I mean. You've been doing a good job. I know you've been watching my back in case the barrier goes down. <sighs> I've been thinking about Brack. Never oh, thought I'd um, say that. Really? But I've been thinking about oh. him a little bit. Worried that you'd be off the payroll if he went down? Because that wouldn't happen. You got me. I'm worried about the syndicate stuff. No, of course not. I just, you know, I worry about the guy. He's not exactly the best in social situations. Yeah. I guess we agree on that, but he's got he's got a good heart. I admire him for that. Trace Velger nods up and down. Uh, I couldn't have asked for a better business partner. That's fair, I guess. Which is why when <laughs> we need to get bonuses, we are going to work doubly hard to make sure he gets them. Wait, that's, to, so we can uh, get bonuses? You're saying? Well, I mean, you know, that's what the that's what the ranker said, isn't it? Like we do uh, we do stuff up here to help him out inside. Oh, the lab. sorry, I thought you meant bonus payments because we're working for the syndicate. Yes. Oh I no, see no, 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 no. We'll do our best here. Yeah, we'll help him out as best we can. It sounds like starting tomorrow things are going to get a little more, a little more crazy. So I think we best. What? Wait, what, did you use up all your wood making this bridge? Huh? What? No, I've got tons of it. I had like three we, houses. Tall. What if we set up? Because I don't like how short these cliffs are. What if we set up something around the perimeter? Oh, I mean, something that would taller. Prob that would probably work. I mean, I, we are quite vulnerable up on the cliffs. Yeah, we could be sleeping but, and they could just jump in on us. That's true. Although, didn't the ranker say after twelve we're good for a bit? Yeah, that's just for stealing campsites. Mm. What if the team that Jong took out? What if they get some ideas? Some revenge ideas. Well, they're maybe, not capable. You are definitely not wanting me to sleep tonight. No, no, no. You've done enough work. I can stay. I can keep watch tonight. No worries. You can kind of shoots a look across, just like mm-hmm. I what? mean, do you think you can maintain a barrier? Doesn't say anything. Just shoots a look. And he's good I... at nighttime activities. What's the? I can stay up as late as I want. It's the coon blood. Don't worry about it. Uh, I haven't really been working all that hard today. You know what we do when we want to wake up more? We shock ourselves with electricity. 
That's little, a little, uh, little known weird. Facts. That's a little strange. I'm, kidding. It's not what we know that. I'm, jo- I'm joking. Know. I'm joking. It's not. It didn't sound like a joke it's to a me, joke. did it, Trace Felger? Trace Felger shakes his head. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever. He just kind of like shakes her head, just like, okay then. Just like, all right. Uh, I'll, start bu- I'll start building that fence. Sound good? Oh, sure. That would be delightful. All right. Hey, just keep in mind that wood might be needed for the test tomorrow, so just don't use all of I it. I won't use it all. I won't use it all. I wonder if he's good at building fences. Hannah, did you want to say it? What was that? I missed that. No, that was just eaten under her oh, breath. Yeah, I, yeah. <laughs> I couldn't catch that, you know? Mmm! Gotta roll perception. <laughs> <laughs> I'm tempted, but no. Alright. Um, <laughs> so, what would you want to talk to Jong now? Uh, yeah. Okay. okay. Uh, I don't know if Jong wants to talk to me, but sure, <laughs> that's sure. a different question. Yeah, she I mean... down to the throne, by the way. Oh, uh, yeah, she's the only one, one, other one allowed to sit on yeah, the throne. Yeah, yeah. Yo, uh, John, Lynn, you tired? Tired? No, not tired at all, actually. I was just going to see what we were going to do about some food. What, you trying to cook? Been a while. Uh, Well, if I can find some stuff to cook, yeah. All right, how about we go searching for some stuff, and we'll see what we can find. All right, sounds good to me. Let's go. Okay, you oh, start heading oh, out. Oh, going out again. Well, have, <laughs> have, be safe, you know. You don't know what kind of nasties you might find out there, you know. Damien, are you just this bored? What are you doing up there? I'm not that bored. I, just, I actually watch. I quite like this job. That yeah. bridge with the spike says otherwise. What? It's, 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 a, it's a good bridge. I did a pretty good job on it. Well, let's just be I happy it's not setting the surrounding area on fire yet. True, true. All right. Well, we're off to see if we can find some food. And I and I turn around and I, I say I say to Damien, and if you are going to do that, let me know first. Oh yeah, of course. Yeah, you know that's actually a pretty good idea. A fire attack would be good. Oh, all right, we'll be back. I guess we gotta leave here though. I don't see you. Oh, sure. Yeah, sure. We'll just say you're going to the other yeah. area. Uh. I actually do want food, though. Can we actually try and find some stuff to eat? Real quick? Sure, sure. You can, can, we, can we do a little hunting? Yeah. A little you can do hunting. your best to explore around a little bit. Let me see. Let me see. What's that? Uh, hold on. Survival, maybe? I was about to say survival. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Survival would work if you want to both roll that. Okay. Cool, cool. I can do that. I like it than odds. That is a seven. Oh, that is a dirty twenty. We'll go with you. <laughs> <laughs> good plan. Good plan. Good plan. <laughs> uh, Jong, you don't find much, but uh, you huh. you kind of looking around. You find a little uh, a little uh, a little trail up one of the cliffs, and it leads to a patch of berries. Hope you all like fruit. <laughs> <laughs> hey man, food is food. But I was hoping you would cook something. Well, stuff is pretty scarce around here, apparently. How you feeling? You still trying to stretch your leg, so to speak? I'm sure, we'll have plenty to do tomorrow. I hope so. I mean, barely getting warmed up in that fight before. It was pretty much over before it started. What was there to get warmed up against a bunch of fodder who couldn't, you know, do anything? Oh, that's what I'm saying. Oh, I found the evidence I was looking for. But uh, I wasn't going to bring this up. I feel like I might have to now. And please don't be mad at me, bro. What is it? How have you been feeling since that one incident? When we were trapped. That power. Kind of feels like since then you've been oddly closer, but even more distant. Woo. 
you know about my fight that I had when I was young. I know. I never said it wasn't. And you know that I lost the fight. To Elias. This whole time, my whole life, I thought I lost to him because he was better than me. Because he bested me in a competition. It's not it. What is it? Woo. He won because I chose not to fight him. Could have killed him. Could have fought him. If you did, though, if you had fought back, and I know it's hard to not think that your mother wouldn't still be here, but you don't know that. All you would know for sure is that instead of you being in the position you're in, Elias would be suffering in the same way. You've always hated everything that that situation and that family meant in terms of your life. And I'm not saying to run away from it, but if you really allow whatever's going on with you and the mentality you committed to, to change you, I don't think that your mother would be happy about that. Not to say that we won't kill Elias, because we most definitely will. And whoever else is behind this. But in the process, remember that we're here for you. And don't lose yourself and become the very thing that it is that you hate. That's just it, Will. I don't think I'm losing myself by exploring this or giving into it, I think this is who I am. When I fought those people for Ebo, terrified, there's so many people around me. I wasn't scared that I was gonna die. because I was enjoying it. I should have... If I had fought that way all those years ago, yeah, Elias would be dead. Maybe his family would be the ones mourning. But is it, is it so fucked up that I don't care? I kind of get closer and look him dead in the eye. No. Honestly, it's not. I think uh, it's a pretty reasonable reaction given, every, given everything that happened and I don't think I'd feel any different from you. If you think that you're finally finding yourself, for better or for worse. I'm not gonna stand in the way of that, but just know that I'm here for you, man. And when I say that, that means in all ways. So if what the path you start to go down deviates from what it is I think is important, I'll stop you. And I know you won't hesitate to do the same. Who I told this to Eden <clears throat> back on the 21st floor. My mother was murdered because I chose not to fight back. My mother was killed because when it came down to the wire, I couldn't raise a hand to Elias. I will turn into the devil himself 
If it means I get to kill the person who took her away from me. If that makes you the devil, then I'm the devil's advocate. But all I'm saying is, do you really know for certain that if you had done anything differently, that the outcome wouldn't have been the same? From everything you've told me, the details of what happened to your mom are still shaky. It could be bigger than Elias. Until you get those answers, just getting rid of him isn't going to make you feel any better. I know, but... Power that I feel when I get in a fight, when I get caught up in the moment. I need it. If I'm going to find the person who killed her and kill them. You don't need anything. Do. You don't need to rely on anything that's outside of yourself in order to accomplish what you want. And if that's what you think, that's a dangerous way of thinking. It's a slippery slope, my friend. But let's go eat these berries, man. Getting a little sad over here. Look, you cut the man's throat. If it weren't for that, I actually would have heard about this leg situation. So good on you. Hey, Wu. Yep. Uh. Uh. Thanks. Oh, I thought you knew you didn't have to say it, man. Now you're making me feel awkward. I don't say it to you. You don't say it to me. That's the whole dynamic. Let's go. Let's go. <laughs> and right as you were laughing it off, Jong, make a religion check. Oh, shit, bro. Ruh -ruh. All this praying to God out here, bro. <laughs> you said getting to you. Religion, my religion. Oh, okay. It's actually not terrible. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Ooh, 16. You hear a voice in your head. Oh, not the voices. <laughs> but not before you get this feeling. The wind kind of starts to pick up a little bit. Your heart starts pounding faster and faster. Wu starts to kind of walk ahead of you without realizing it for a second. And you feel this presence trying to enter your body. And now, and then you hear the voice saying, I have to see her again one more time, please. Please, 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 please. I'll do anything. I'll lend you my power. Please, please, just one more time. My beloved Freya. No. What? No. Please. Power, please. I'm. I said no. And as soon as you say that, it's as if you snapped out of a trance. Hey man, you, you good? Yeah. Yeah, I was just <laughs> thinking about how pitiful it's going to be bringing back these berries. Hey, nobody else wanted to find anything to eat. They should be thanking us. Yeah. Y'all got four hours. Yeah, yeah, we're almost there. We almost got it. That's weird. What does that mean? Don't worry what, about what it, that bro. Mean? Don't worry about it. The less you know, the better. Okay, we're we're going to uh, do just one more cut, and then we'll cut back here. Well, a couple more cuts. Um, so, you continued through the labyrinth, Brack, for a few more hours more twists and turns, but it's just so long. You all were good at keeping conversation at first, but in the last few hours, you all are just visibly tired. Ooh. My feet are starting to hurt quite a bit. All right, the young man is right. Let's find a nice spot to set up camp. Big A, I still can't believe you. <sighs> it is a little rude that he doesn't talk, but whatever. Should we be bothering the guy? Let him do what he wants. 
No, he's fine. It's just my feelings are hurt. <laughs> but uh -huh. we can't we can't set up shop just anywhere. With that thing patrolling the patrolling the area, we need to find a nice safe spot. I think I found something straight ahead. And it's kind of no. dark. Uh, and by, so when it did get a little bit darker, your observers were there, but at one point, uh, Misuk, you didn't really see her do this, but you started seeing this light emanate and she was holding this like crystal floating in her hands and it was emanating this bright light. And she would use that to, to add some more light to the, uh, to their surrounding room. But that was a couple hours ago. So she kind of, she puts the, the crystal back in her, uh, her uh, inventory. And she walks forward, and you see that the path kind of thins a little bit straight ahead. But now you're seeing through the light that it opens up into a a circular room. Mm. I'll move you there here. And reveal. Oh, you can already see it. All right. You guys stay here. Hedge and I will go check it out. Big H, protect the group. Young man, I mean, old man, you're not going to let me live it down. Okay. You, you stay with the group. Okay. Do your defender things. Hedge, let's go check this out real quick. You got it. You walk into the room, and it has a few torches lit as well that are uh, that are lighting up this area. And straight ahead... At the end of this circular room, there's a big metal door. Not as ancient looking as the door with the riddle on it, but this one looks very, very modern. And there's a message being displayed, kind of on repeat, like the words are being uh, you know, shown over and over, sliding on the, on the little uh, monitor. And it says, congratulations on finishing day one. We finished day one. This was only one day. Out of seven. Can't believe. Can't believe this. Okay. All right. All right. So, if I were a bad man, I would assume this would be our area before we go to the start of the next day's festivities. Yeah. They're trying to control our path. Probably so we can line up with the outside teams. All right. This is a good thing and also a bad thing. A good thing because if that creature does have brains, there's a chance that it may wander up here if it knows that we need to be here towards the end of right. yeah. the day. True. All right. We would have to do this a little bit clever-like. What do you think? Well, well, I was looking at the priestess. Not like that. But she was using some sort of crystals in order for her to be able to use her wave controller abilities. Yeah. I wonder if she's able to expand them to create like some sort of crystal wall. Not a bad idea. We can ask her. Well, all right. Hey, really quick. What do you think of her whole god thing? I believe that everyone has their beliefs in order to help them get through the ordeals of the tower. And the tower itself offers everyone a second chance at life. To live a life not as the one that they had before, but one to help jumpstart something anew. With that said, I don't think her religion is that much of an issue. She believes in the god of the tower. I believe in divine Shinsu. We all have our beliefs. I think she's fine. He nods. There is no God. But you're right. It's probably not a problem. All right. Just I think. The, yeah. Just don't say that in front of her. I know. I know. All right. She just mentions it every sentence. It had to vent somewhere, you know? It's perfectly fine. Perfectly fine. Let's go ahead and go meet back up with the rest of the team. All right. 
You make your way back, and they're all sitting there, and you see Misuk and Genbu talking. Oh, welcome back. Conspirators, how are you doing? <laughs> but, <They're> no. Just <laughs> <laughs> but, no, we, we, we found the door that leads to day two. Uh, we're finally at the end of our road. We However... Made we made it! Let's go! Taki shouts. Yeah, 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 yeah. Thank God. All good, Super Bunny. All good. Calm down, calm down. I don't understand why you still have so much energy, but I like it. All right, now. Uh, Priestess, I noticed that you were using crystals in order to help light the way, guide the way, and figure out different paths. Do you have the ability to generate crystals to, to block a path? It would take me a little while, but as long as these walls cooperate, and she puts her hand on them, yes. All right. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to hold up in front of this door here in this big circular area. Everyone gets their own lo er, their own spot, location. We could talk if you all want, throw a fire. I got a few drinks in my inventory if you want some. Not my strawberry water. Not my strawberry water. You can have anything else, but not that. But <laughs> I'm willing to supply subtle nourishment. You all should have came in prepared, but I'm willing to do this since I messed up on the riddle. <laughs> okay. You didn't mess up on anything, son. I'm still mad at you. You let the rabbit get his hand stabbed. I'm still mad at you. It was a mistake, and one that I will try to make up for. I apologize, right. Taki. Oh, no, it's fine. My hand's feeling better. I mean, I could have taken off my whole hand if Brack and Hugo hadn't saved me. I still want my handshake. But everyone else, it's fine. I would love to learn more about each of you. This journey, this climb of me entering this tower and being given this new life, this new look. I've, I've become more curious about people. Not specifically you all, but I would love to get to know you more. With that being said, let's go ahead and set up camp. Before, before you leave, she... Pats in the arm. That sounds lovely. Thank you, Brock. And then uh, they start setting up camp. Brock says under his breath, if this priestess touches me one more time, I'm going to lose it. And then he just walks off to get ready to set up camp. Okay. <laughs> um, you see her. Uh, she's focusing. It looks like she's in prayer for the next hour. Everyone kind of sets up little uh, little sections. Very modest, you know. Genbu doesn't set up anything. He just leans into the corner of the wall and puts his head back. And then uh, uh, Hedge, he has a little uh, sleeping bag that he puts onto the ground. And he has a few things that he sets up. Um, Hugo, same thing. He sets up a little uh, little area. And Taki, he's starting to stretch and he's jogging around the room. Rabbit, 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 yeah. rabbit, Hold on, rabbit. almost done with, almost done. God damn it, why does he and have to do time. this? Why do you have the zoomies? I understand that you're a part of the Lopobia family, but why do you have the zoomies? Just ignore me, just ignore me, just ignore me. It's fine. I'm just a little worried that, um, that my injury would have impacted my uh, skills. It was on your hand anyway i'm gonna set up camp now Whew. good workout today you know and hey seriously thank you for saving me earlier sorry if i've caused you any trouble you caused no trouble but uh when the time comes when we get you powered up i'm gonna need you i expect you to be there if you're not I'm going to tell Wu you betrayed me, and then he's going to hunt you down for the rest of your life. Uh, you don't need to worry about that. Uh, I'll be there for you, man. I'll be there for you. All right. All right, pals. Pals. Yeah, put it there. Put it there. Bumps you. That's what I like to see. All right. 
gather everyone up. It's time to eat. All right, they gather up. And uh, everyone except for Misuk. Yeah. Oh, we eating without her? Oh, yeah, that's she, right. She's Pray. still in prayer. Oh, I kind of don't want to do this without her. Oh, it hurt. <laughs> <laughs> Do you want to give it a little more time or <laughs> yeah give it a little bit more time. <laughs> okay. another hour passes and uh finally you see her start doing these motions and her hands start to light up and glow and then the minerals along the wall start to pull out and slowly float towards her and they start building this wall in front of her brackets looking at all like the uwu glossy eyes Sure. And it reaches all the way to the ceiling. <sighs> Thank you, God. Brock pours out a strawberry water and he hands it to her. Oh. I thought you said we weren't allowed to drink these. Don't tell anyone I gave you that. This one especially for you. Thank you for setting us up and making us safe. I appreciate it. <clears throat> now, um, we're about to eat. Come on over. Thank you. And she comes over. All right, everyone. Gather around. Gather around. Gather around. Gather around. Gather around. <laughs> Even Genbu comes. Everyone comes over. All right. Brock holds up uh, a strawberry water. A toast to our first day in the labyrinth. You know, a few casualties. Looking at you there, rabbit. I'm but, still alive. <laughs> but we survived one day. That's one day down, six more to go. If we play all cards right, we won't really have to deal with anything too serious until the seventh day. But seeing the fact that all of us were basically thrown into this tower and we all have the misfortune of taking this test, luck is not on our side. So therefore... We survived a day. Let's just appreciate it. And God bless us, everyone. Amen. Yeah, 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 yeah that too, that too, that too, that too, that too. Amen. Uh, what do you, do you, are you offering them all food, you said then, and drinks and yeah, stuff? Yeah, yeah. Okay. I'm offering them, like, my rations that I have. Oh, okay. They, they thank you. They all thank you. Genbu especially. Thank you very much. Yeah, yeah. What, what else can I do? Now, <clears throat> down to brass tacks. What caused each of you to come into the tower? Hugo eats his rations. He, you can tell he's not, like, starving, but, like, he eats it really quickly. Well, many reasons. Where do I even start? Once upon a time, a little rabbit boy named Taki was born. He was a really cute little boy. I have pictures. I can prove it. And, uh, you know, even ever since I was a toddler, I was really, really good at running. I was faster than my parents when I was like two years old. So everyone in my family always said I would be the fastest regular in the tower. I also I have brothers and sisters too. I mean, they're they're all amazing. And even my cousins would come over, and when they would come over, we'd play these games. And you know, there's this game that I can play where like you tap your foot really quickly, and whoever taps it quickest wins. We'd play that with my cousins, and it was always super fun. Um, and by the way, uh, Brax teammate Woo, he's my brother. And uh, yeah, and then okay, and then so I I started learning more, um, and eventually, uh, because I'm a member of the Lopopia family. Uh, I decided I want to live up to the family name. Do you know? So I started training. I started training a few things. One thing I started training was my feet. They are super duper strong. My legs, super duper strong. My app, I mean everything about me. Uh, what else did I do? I trained to be, I actually like writing as well. I, 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 uh, I enjoy poetry. I enjoy my fair share of poetry. Um, Yeah, that's basically it, you know? Sounds like a, a very energetic story. Lovely life, lovely Thanks, life. You trained, you. You, you said you said you trained every part of your body. Uh, mm -hmm. Yeah. That This too? The, like, the hands? Um, yeah, I mean, you know. Okay, 
Okay. Just curious. Don't pay me no mind. All right. Edge, what caused you to come into the tower? Me? Um. I mean, I got a kid. Yeah, that's basically it. Ah, uh, your kid, huh? I want to find him and uh, make it back home to my wife. Ah, gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Seems like everybody is losing kids nowadays. It's kind of crazy. Um, all right, good talk. Uh, Gimbo, what's up with you? You've been in here for a thousand years. What's up? No, 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 I have not been in here for a thousand years. Oh, my life is long. You'd be surprised how many memories you lose. I would say the reason I entered the tower was because of some very special people who gave me guidance when I needed it. And I hope to live up to their example someday. Sounds very inspirational. Motivational. Big H, are you gonna you gonna talk to me now? Are you just gonna though we were sim simpatico, you and I? He keeps eye on the wall that Misuk made. Do you think the wall is not good enough, uh Big H? Yes? No? Give me something. Something? This this hurts, you know. Like, I, I try to open up to you. You don't say a word. I hurt that you didn't say a word to me when you think that we're in mortal danger. But then when I'm just over here trying to be buddy, buddy, poly, poly, out here just trying to, you know, get to know you a little bit more. You then give me the silent treatment again. Like, it's okay, man. I appreciate you. Thank you for having my back down here so far. Priestess. What about you? Just so you know, I am not a true priestess. But I understand what you mean, and it means a lot, truly. Well, I... Sometimes there are people born in our village that have the ability to... attune with the earth itself and I was one of those children legend has it in our village that we would drink water that came from crystals and I myself rather love crystals and any creature that shares this same affinity I am drawn to and she breathes again and three butterflies appear I met these while climbing the tower and they're all fluttering around how does that work that, that I'm, I'm, I'm intrigued by that <laughs> you blow and you create these three crystal butterflies like I've had crystal bane before and <gasps> uh, delicious uh, you, but you, 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 you ate crystal bane Yes, it makes a fine soup, a nice steak. Um, <laughs> uh, um, it's kind of... What? I see. It, it's okay, it's okay, it's okay. Um, it... We only ate one. Hundred. Right. But, it's okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But... What 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 caused you to come into the tower? Um, nothing. Um, ever, God was calling me. God was calling you. Yes. God called you after I ate a crystal bay. I got you. All right. Please. <clears throat> um, 
She looks really uncomfortable. Crystal Bane was delicious. I don't know what she's upset about, but everyone else, gather around. Let me tell you the story of how Brack got into the tower. You think it might have been an adventure, but it wasn't. It's actually a tale filled with loneliness and despair. You see, given my jovial and jolly personality that you see before you right now, I wasn't always this way. No, 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 sir. No, sir. You see, I had no motivation. No sense of self-preservation. I threw myself at every task, just simply on a whim. I used to be a bounty hunter. I took on whatever task that I could. It was more so for just to feel something. Being alone for 400 years would do that to you. It wasn't until I was at my lowest point when I was ready to give up and just let it all go. Where I was pretty much chosen to come into the tower. I didn't even select it. I didn't even ask for it. That's why I treat this like my second chance. That's why I'm so gung-ho with everything that I do. And in particular, because of the interesting people that I've met along the way. On the second floor, we, we, we encountered something that ignited sort of an old flame within me. And now I'm the Brack that you see here today. That is all. I'm kind of tired. Uh, you all enjoy yourselves. Have some more drink. There's some snacks right there. I'm going to go. See you that later. Was, that was beautiful, man. That was. Thanks for sharing that. Really. Wow. You're a good guy, Brack. You know that? You're a good guy. I don't want to see bunny tears. Don't, don't. Please don't cry. I miss Butterscotch. I miss Ben. Uh, his name was Butterscotch. I miss Folk. I miss Walter and Dan. I hope they're okay. Well, if they're with our unit, they're fine. Don't know about Jong, though. Jong might see them as useless. But everyone else will help them. They're really strong. I couldn't have gotten this far without them. I mean, Dan's kind of... Oh. You know. but, but are they, though? All right. I think we should all go to bed. Seems like a good time. Mm. Everyone kind of gets up. Have a good night, everyone. And thank you for the meal, Brack. It was my pleasure. This will not happen again. <laughs> <laughs> oh, understood. Brack goes over to his corner, uh, sits up on a wall, and just in an arms folded position, just dozes off like this. But right before you do, Hugo approaches you. Brock opens up his eyes and looks up. Uh, what up, Big H? He kind of looks down. His pocket pops up, and you see the words, thank you. No problem, but, you know, the words would mean more if you, like, actually said them, you know? You he tell me, oh, look out. 
as he's walking away, Brock is still talking about it. You tell me, oh, look out. But then you can't tell me thank you with your own words. Or you might actually have a nice voice. You could have a smoky, deep voice. I mean, what I heard sounds smoky and deep, but I don't even know because you didn't even want to talk to me anymore after that. And I don't look at you. You're walking away from me. And I don't understand why you're walking away. Like, I'm trying to have a conversation with you, but then you just want to be all rude and walk away. Like, you should at least talk to the person who fed you. But no, you don't talk to the person who fed you. You just let it all go. <sighs> Hours After. go by, the night goes on, we're going to cut to our team. It's nighttime, I'm going to say, for everyone outside the cave. We're, we're going to go on for a few more minutes. Yep, still nothing to report. Mm. Nothing going on. Just maintaining the barrier. Victor comes back. Ah, so far, so good on the progress. Ugh, I haven't done physical labor in so long. Oh, well, Whew. I mean, I appreciate the effort. No problem, no problem. Uh, we got half a fence up. We can finish the rest tomorrow, I think. Yeah, that sounds good. Ooh. Hey, you want, uh, Eden, are you, Eden, are you still across from Damien? Mm-hmm. I'm, she's just sitting there cross, crisscross applesauce, just watching. You guys uh, have have fun. Oh yeah, yeah. I've been watching. Uh, I've been watching a movie on my spare lighthouse. Which thank you by the way, Eden. You're welcome. What movie? Oh, it's about uh two two wizards uh going on a journey and they meet a cartoon rabbit. I didn't get to the good part though, but there's like this <laughs> dude with horns and it's really it's getting kind of interesting. Hmm. Okay. Oh and. Yeah, and there's this old dude. Oh my god, I'm glad he asked. Okay. He's all he's all super nice, but I'm pretty sure he's evil. But we'll see though. Huh. <laughs> okay. Sounds like a fun movie. Cool. Yeah, it's not that it's really not that good though. But I mean, I'm enjoying it. Okay. You a movie critic all of a sudden? Huh? What? No, 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 no. I just enjoy watching. It. Reminds me of the times when I was. Working a dead end job. They were the good parts, though. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You know, stories about adventure and whatnot. Sure, sure. Hey, Eden, what are you up to? Uh, just watching. See anything interesting? Nope. That is the tomb. I mean, you can watch the cartoon rabbit movie after me if you want. I'm good, Damien. Thanks. I mean, I'm kind of down if you want to show me. I mean, sounds interesting. But... No, um... Well, I'm gonna go sleep now. Wait, sorry. I gotta stay up and keep watch. I've got it. Wait. Oh, I mean, I, well, I'm the one who actually has got it. No, but you've been keeping watch all... Both of you have been keeping watch all day. Let me take over. What? But, I mean, I, I, I've been taking naps... I shouldn't have said that. That's why <laughs> I came up here, Damien. Just go to bed, both of you. Uh, well, how about I just camp out here? You know, you guys, you guys go ahead. turns, right? I got it. I insist that the two of you go back down and go to bed. No. Oh, come on, please. I'll, I'll take you up on that offer. I'm actually kind of tired, so all right. Um, yes, yeah, all that the, physical uh, labor. Yeah, all that physical labor. Yeah. Mm hmm Yeah. Well, time to go snooze. Good night, guys. Good night. Have a good night. Well, that was weird. So much. I mean, nope, nope, not going to ask. Nope, I already know. I don't actually know, but I don't. S say it. Um, no. Say it. Well, I mean, you know, Victor's working hard mm -hmm. I know things didn't exactly end well and I am um... they didn't end not well seems like the the team has seemed to think that it went poorly but it's not as bad as you think I just I know. get my barbs in here or there but that's just my petty I, personality sometimes coming out I mean I could I could feel the the awkwardness I was between the conversation I I know but 
this is probably the most he's talked to me in a while. So, just a little, a little awkward for everybody. Oh. Well, I mean, I've always liked everybody. I do too. I have nothing against anyone. I just, you know, do you ever just think about the second floor? You know, when he was about to, uh, you know, I mean, Nissan was about to kill him. Yeah, I think about it a lot. I, I, it's just something that I can't really shake, you know? What like, about I it? like, I just, I like the guy, I really do, but mm -hmm. I, I wish Nissan never said that, because now I have to be constantly. Honestly, it was probably just a power move by Nissan. He's not affiliated with Icear. They don't want anything pulling their prized members away, and so they figured that he would be a good sacrificial pawn to, you know, keep him away from us. I, I really don't know what the plan was. I don't think he really did either. Didn't seem like he thought it through that much. Just got him to where it got him. I mean, like, you, you, we, we see how Victor acts. I mean, like, you don't... I don't think he would betray us. I fully trust him. I've never doubted but, him for a second. But still... Still, I feel that way, though. <laughs> well, you can feel however you want to feel. It's not my job to tell you what to think. It's just, you know, if I didn't have that information i probably would treat him look don't you well. think icer has some i mean obviously icer has some sort of stock in us right if we let in people from the outside maybe the ten great families and maybe they start investigating and you know uncover their little operation he's a threat to them so of course nissan and flux Falk and everyone else see i mean nissan even saw leaf as an threat. I mean, like, come on. Do you think Flux Folk is okay? Damien, I'll be honest with you, no, I don't think she's okay. Just from Brack's vision? From Brack's vision in her letter, people in their right mind or potentially know with Brack's information or being punished or tortured. Yeah. Sounds like she's severing herself from father's wishes for whatever reason. It's so. weird because sometimes I think she's just going to show up again. It's been been a long time since we've seen her. I don't know. If she truly did something to piss off father, then I don't know. We might not see her for a while, if ever again. I don't think she's bad. I do really I don't... think she wants us to succeed. I just don't know if she's ever been given a fair chance. And for that, exactly, I can't fault right? Her. Like yeah. she she's never had a choice. Mm hmm She's and forced by... to to like us, you know? Yeah. And if you remember the last part of her letter, she said her mind was hers, not yours, not yours, not yours, not yours, etc. She's trying to make a break, but I don't know if it worked out. Well, when we get to another major floor, I'm sure we can use some connections. Well, I see her seems to come when they want to call and not by when we want them to call, so I don't know. I just also don't know about Icear itself. Me neither. I mean, you know, I, I told you about Bool, and he seems to be okay. He definitely doesn't seem as shady as the others. Honestly, yeah. He seems to be have been the most upfront, considering what you told me. <sighs> I have so much on my mind. <laughs> Well, Especially I'm after all ears. what happened today. 
Oh, yeah. Uh, um, well, I mean, if you've got the time, if you... We got all night. I guess we do. We should probably cut away, though. Sure, we can cut, cut the, away. Cut the camera, cut the camera. <laughs> camera cuts. It's You're muted, Justin. You're muted. You're muted. Sorry, I was just mute on Discord. Um, okay, so camera cuts. Um, last minute thing for before anybody goes to bed. Jong, do you do anything with Leaf or anything? You just go to bed? Oh, you're muted too. You're actually. muted as well, Isaiah. All these mutes. <laughs> we are Everybody's all muted. Mute in this bed, right? <laughs> um, I was saying he doesn't go and talk to her, but he okay. just he kind of walks in on her where she's sleeping and just kind of watches her for a minute, and then he goes back to his okay. corner. <laughs> yeah, she falls asleep in the big cushy chair. Yeah, she gets to stay there. Bro. Okay. <laughs> I'm, I'm just gonna chill over here, and I'll. Uh... Okay. Oh, actually, yeah. I'm uh, I'm gonna yeah. say I'm I'm looking at the the lake locket before I go to sleep. Sure. Uh oh, watch out, Laura. Her old flames. It's a very small picture, but undeniably you recognize it as her. And all that. Okay. The night passes by. No problems. No intrusions, nothing like that. Oh, I will say though, uh, Wu, before everyone goes to bed, <laughs> you do receive an update from Team Loud and Proud. I almost, whew, almost forgot. Um, I forgot. Almost call honest. someone a finger. <laughs> oh boy. Um, they were able to find the person's pocket, and uh, they transferred you uh, twenty thousand points. Wait, they transferred me twenty thousand points? Yep. Why? They said that was what was on the pocket. So, oh no! Oh, I want the pocket. I don't. I was gonna reward. The, you know what? Fine. I'll take the points and bring me the pocket tomorrow. No, no okay. All right. And then the night goes on without a hitch. Smooth. The labyrinth is quiet, Breck. But you do eventually wake up. Your pocket says that it's the morning. And you hear the door start to move. And it opens up. Everyone kind of wakes up. I'll rise and shine, everyone. You know, wake up, get up. <sighs> Day two. Yeah. Is, is everybody ready? Anybody need any time? You know, you look over at the wall that Misuk made, and it kind of, through the night, it seems to have kind of fallen a little bit because it's not touching the ceiling anymore. So it kind of slowly shifted down, but it's still standing there. Brock looks at it. Oh. That might not be reliable in the future. All right. Shall we be off then, everyone? And they all take apart their camps. Yeah. Once everybody is uh, done breaking all their stuff down, line up. Let's get back in formation. Continue to rule. Day two of the labyrinth. Yay! God, take it. Even Taki looks really sleepy. Um, he's kind of looking at his bandages and replacing them. And you make it through the door, but it's odd. Because you expect to sort of just emerge into the labyrinth again right you expect to it, to it to look like it did previously but instead the room is purely lit up and it's not by torches it is like it's electricity you see um lights lighting up this entire room and the room looks much more futuristic um the walls are coated and they're all white it looks like you're maybe in like the testing bureau it's a square room and there's a door at the back, but there's more to it than that catches your eye. Hmm. Because everyone's kind of looking around, but the main thing that catches your eye, it's hard uh -oh. to miss, uh -oh. is, a, is a floating giant orange crystal 
floating above the ground in the middle of this technologically advanced room. Hmm. Floating giant crystal. What is that? Uh, priestess. Our, our, uh, our, uh, meteorologist. Nope, that's not the word that I'm looking for. That's not the word that I'm looking for, but we're going to settle on that. <laughs> uh, analyze that crystal for me. Wait, would that, would that be possible? I have no idea what it is. God dang it. That's of not course. a crystal. It's not. What is it? It looks to be something man-made. Hold okay. on. Is there something inside of it? Ain't no way that there's a crystal baby in there. Brack, would you mind seeing what's inside of it? Brack walks over to the crystal. All right. Oh, what's my piece? What's my piece? My, oh, never mind. You no, walk over to the crystal. And you clearly, the closer you get, it's starting to shape more and more and more. You're starting to see exactly what this is. Go ahead and look at my screen. Although, no, for people, never mind. Look at my screen. I'm so looking. Ooh, is that who I think it is? Duh. No, no spoilers. God damn. God damn. Well, <laughs> and with that, we are going to end today's episode. Thank you all so much for watching. We made it through day one. Congratulations, everybody. Proud of you. That was great. That was a good time. I, quite I was nervous that. for no reason. Yo, Joe, your accent was killing me, man. Huh? Yeah. Oh, yeah. What? At first, at first, I couldn't pick up if it was an accent or not, but it, it reminded me of uh, uh, what is his name from um, the the two Thor movies, Court. It reminded me of him. And like, <laughs> you kept doing it, and I was like, "Is he doing an accent?" And then the boy you did, and I was like, oh my God, it's reminding me of him. Oh, you figured me out. Oh no. <laughs> <laughs> I've got nothing now. Oh no. No, nah, 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 you have everything. <laughs> <laughs> you called me out, and you could guess correctly, too. Don, wow. Don. Don. Oh man. Well, that was great. Thank you all so much for watching. I will say, like the video if you enjoyed the episode next week we got something special planned we don't want to spoil too much but uh yeah definitely stay tuned any other thoughts from the, everybody else yes in all seriousness now that the episode is over how could you do this to me bro <laughs> <laughs> you, know what I'm like, you sat through the whole week knowing that you know it's all it so hard, bro. <laughs> you, you lied were, you to him like, <laughs> you were like at least it's not lake and i was like yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh man, it was so hard. That was probably the hardest I've ever had to hold something back. Top Damn. ten. Top ten. Ah, oh, it's so Top funny because, because we just had with Jung, like you could come in the towel with a different name. She came in the towel with a different name. I should have known because her ignition weapon is Thimble Winter, but like, you know, I'm not even worried about it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm not, I'm not <laughs> remembering the details of the weapon day ah uh, yeah 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 he was sprung you know was sprung. Of course he's gonna remember that yeah you never forget your first you know um, and now you know why she never called you back <laughs> oh <laughs> my gosh well, well hey she had a whole hey, fiance technically that's that does the, uh, like, uh the door is open again. You're welcome, Wu. Oh, no. Um, I don't think, no, I don't think that was a real thing. Though. There's no way she was genuinely interested in this man. And it's all good. No, so, it was arranged. It was arranged. Still, you know it was arranged. Until oh, we yeah. find out she was. No, yeah, she, and she, if, she, that's, if that's the case, I didn't kill him, so I'm cool. <laughs> <laughs> it wasn't me. You just said uh, you didn't kill him. It's different. It's different. Yeah. That's true. But uh, yes, thank you all so much. We will see you next Friday, same time, 7 p.m. Uh, yeah, stay tuned. Bye, everybody. Bye.
Take care. Au revoir. Merci. <laughs>